Yes. In the flesh, Lord Seer. Rocking the beat, I'm right here. Get the levels popping. 45 rocking off of the top. Yes, and not smiling. Yo, if I was out there, I'd be fresh. But for now, I'm over here, cold flex my chest with the flows over the top. Yes, you don't stop at South by Southwest and rocking the house. And yo, from Thursday to Friday, they got the guests, they got the hold the pawn stars. Okay, it's like nice outside. They eating that swine. Why all the time on J45, nigga? All right. J45, what's going on, man? It is the All Out Show. Special was that live? Did, you, did you just rap that just now? Was that uh, just... No, I did that last oh. week. <laughs> just uh, oh. playing around. What was going on, Jew? Shit, we out here in motherfucking Austin, Texas. Oh, shit. Just, uh, yeah. It's fucking A. <laughs> We're in Austin. Yay. Fucking doing it big. Yeah, man, did you have any, uh, any, uh, what is it, barbecue? I did have some barbecue. I had some barbecue chicken last night. God. They don't like they don't eat chicken that much. Like it's it's all beef out here, real beefy. I noticed that. Keep it real beefy. Yeah. It was like beef, pork, and the chicken was way at the bottom. But you know I like barbecue chicken. I like them thighs. I like that dark meat. Oh, I like them thighs too. It's been uh, it's been pretty good so far. Um, okay. it's actually been some bullshit so far, but whatever. I'm here. Hey, look at that. They got the fucking they got the assistant producer working. Oh shit. How how do I sound? That sounds sound good, good man. It sound like you sound all right. Sound oh. good. Sound weird in my head. I mean, sound like sounds that. weird in my ear phones. You know what I was going. I'm in. Like. I'm broadcasting from the Willie Nelson uh, studio. It looks like. It looks like a western. Looks like I'm in a western in this bitch. They got like paisley. They got weird paisley type sh wallpaper. I guess it's not paisley. Yeah, it's funny you say Willie Nelson. I'm wearing a free Willie Nelson T-shirt. You got that free willy on? Yeah. Like the whale. No, like free the willy. Man. Remember that movie Free Willy? No, I never. No. I wasn't calling you a whale. I'm just saying there was no, a whale. I, I know movie you wasn't calling me a whale. I, uh, I know you just sounded defensive, so I just wanted to just oh, clear that up uh, right you there. Always, yeah, you always think I'm defensive, man. Well. Well. <laughs> sometimes you are. You know what I mean? Sometimes but that's, I'm not. I just come. I just come from a place of love. I just want you to know that. Oh, come on. Yeah, um, you're welcome. I love you, bro. <laughs> hey, where did that come from? Y'all supposed to do the tr strange music showcase yeah, yesterday. Yeah, how did that go? What's up? It didn't go. What? It didn't go. I, I got in late, and then. <laughs> Why did you? Why are you all to... eager to hit fucking buttons? Oh, Let me finish my story. <laughs> my bad. Sorry. Just. Just get good at hey, just get good at the board before you start freestyling oh shit there, my Scott. God, gotcha. yo. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bud. Uh, yeah. No, I, was, I so I get I get in um, I get in I get in after the showcase started. I show up there, and they wouldn't let me in. <laughs> no, that doesn't. No, nah, you bug. Your name is on the bill, doggy. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I'm hosting this event. They're like, what? I'm like, I'm hosting this event. And I guess it's because, you know, I look kind of like a square. You know what I mean? Like, I don't look that cool. So uh, I don't think they believe me up front. You didn't throw no parachute pants. You didn't, like, no ravey look. <laughs> nah, you know, I wasn't wearing I a black T-shirt <laughs> with a hat on sideways. You know, like, that's basically what white white dudes in hip-hop wear out here. It's like oh, black T-shirt. Fucking yeah. stretched out earlobes. Look like they fucking been fucked in the ear by an infant baby or some shit like that oh, God. you know with them little ear them earlobe stretchers i ain't look like that i look like a republican so they're like <laughs> just wait to the side uh and i waited there for a little bit and then i got mad and left what yeah so oh, then i come i, I went and got something to eat i'm like you know what fuck it let me go back over there see if i can get in i went back again <laughs> i'm like hey man i'm supposed to be fucking hosting this shit and he was still and fine. they fought well the the door guy would let me in now and then the door guy let me in and uh i got inside and i, I couldn't get backstage <laughs> i was yeah i walked up to the backstage i'm like excuse me i'm supposed to be hosting this shit you know 
Blase Splee, and they just was looking at me all confused. They kept bringing over people to look at me. Finally, got some chick came over. I was like, yeah, I'm supposed to be hosting this. And meanwhile, like people are going on and like performing and leaving the stage, and another dude is hosting it. Like I'm watching somebody else host the fucking thing. Taking your shit. What the hell? Yeah, it was to the point where it was like he was doing a good job too. It was like some white dude with a beard. Like he looked like he was doing his thing. So uh, I'm like, yeah, I'm supposed to be hosting this. And this lady was like, that's great, and just walked away. <laughs> and then I was like, and I'm look. It was like literally me, 20 oh. feet from fucking Tech Nine. I'm looking like, hey, can someone come grab me? Then I was like, I'm not even getting paid to do this shit. Fuck this. I'm out of here. Oh, I, I well, just bail. Right, right, right. Fuck it. If you was getting right, I'll see what you said. I'd have been. That's what happens when you do shit for free. They don't appreciate shit. <laughs> they didn't even put me on a list or nothing. What? Like, you think they'd have put me on a fucking list. Like, hey, he's going to be on stage. Let this motherfucker in. That's fine. You think they had a piece of paper with my name on it, but they didn't. That's no hard feelings. I guess they called up. Did, did what? Tech Nine's manager called up Sam. Sam, did he call you up? Was he doing talking shit or something? He texted me. Like, where's Jude? He's like, no Jude last night. Yeah, Jude was there last night. Y'all didn't have your shit together, and Jude couldn't get on stage. Jude was by the stage. Jude was by the back. The 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 back entrance. Jude was by the 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 <laughs> stage entrance. Jude couldn't Jude, get on stage. Jude brought food. Jude came back. <laughs> Straight up, I went and got barbecue. Came back. You know. Went and dropped off my shit. Signed a hyena book. Came back. <laughs> I ain't even had a hyena book, man. What? Oh, and then I couldn't get into my hotel. I, I forgot what hotel I was in. And then when I finally remembered, I couldn't even. They said I wasn't booked there. What's so that? then I had to go stay. I guess it's the hood. I don't think it's the hood, but it's, it could be kind of the. I don't think it's the hood. I, I end up having to go stay in some house in a Mexican neighborhood. Uh -uh. <laughs> what? With like fucking twenty Mexican drunk Mexicans posted up outside yelling at me when I rolled up. They know the air, yo. Hey, what you got in that bag? Oh What's God. in your bag? And I'm like, uh, I'm just gonna ignore these dudes. <laughs> what the fuck? And they was up yelling all fucking night. Oh yeah, sorry. And then I was woken up by a rooster. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Cause they got chickens. <laughs> what up, fucking South by Southwest? Good to be here, Austin. Oh, that was my day so far. Ooh. That was my day. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Wow. Pretty fucking awesome. Every time I go do these on location shits, I'm like, why the fuck am I doing an on location shit? They don't give me no extra money. It's just fucking grief. It's just fucking grief. <laughs> Whatever, though. I got some barbecue, and the girls' asses out here are still fat. They're just yeah, really big asses. Because they're eating that swan, eating that beef. They walk around a lot. It's yeah. All them animal hormones that the animals eat to get bigger, and then they eat it, and their asses get bigger. They have shit out there. Damn. Yummy. Yum, yum. Oh, God. Yum, How's the yum, weather? Yum. How's the weather? Yeah. Weather's cool, man. Weather's awesome. I was just walking around, you know, just doing my thing out there in South by Southwest. I went to uh, DJ Ski shit yesterday. Oh, shout out, Ski. Fun. I think Lady Gaga showed up. I bailed before that happened. And then oh, um, I was at I was at G-Pen. Oh, uh, shout out to G-Pen. G-Pen, I'm going to be there tomorrow broadcasting, and I'm going to be over there uh, signing books and giving away books. 8 p.m., 6th in uh, Red River at the G-Pen Annex. I will be there. Giving away books while I got them, and if you got if you bought a book for me, I'll sign it. Wait, say that again. The address six in Red River at the G Pen Annex. Google oh, fucking G Pen and South by Southwest oh, if you got to. I'll be out in that bitch chilling. I'll be out in that motherfucker giving back to the community. Oh, the, shit. the gift of literacy. Hey, can you read that for me, man? Out loud, brother. <laughs> this chick named Renee got a question. What's up, Renee? Hey. Yeah. What's up? So, I am wondering, why is it so hard to find no strings attached good dick? You want some no strings attached good dick? That's what I want. Damn. And you can't get none? I can't get none. These lanes are but, garbage. What's the matter with their dick game? What aren't you happy about? They don't last. 
How long do you need them to last? Until I fucking fall asleep. Like, I feel like I'm a dude or something. I don't know. I just... How many nuts do you need bag? to get? How many nuts many do you need to get? As many as it takes. As many as it takes. I can have a bunch I'm just of asking. Ones, but if I have the big I'm ones... I'm just asking. And you fucking just put me to sleep, then you're a winner. Knock your ass out. See, that's a, that's your problem. You're real vague with your needs. Like, I'm asking you what you need, and you're, you're, you're as many as it takes. <laughs> okay. I don't I don't have a number. All right, so you just want to get fucked and bust a bunch of nuts. Sure. And how long are these guys lasting right now, so far? Uh, wow. Only minutes. I mean, like, five minutes. Okay, so you're all right. So like, maybe you could, maybe you can even find yourself a nice thirty-five, forty-minute dude. That would be eight times better than what you got going on right now. And that would be okay. I would be okay with and that. And then build from I'm there. Not. You well, you know, you wasn't specific with your needs. Like, yeah. haven't you ever heard of the secret? Like, with the when you got to do the board with the collages, and you make a collage of all the things you need, you need to make a collage with a dick and then a timer on that <laughs> shit that says like 45 minutes. Shoot for an hour. No, for real. I'm serious. No, for real. Like, I'm, I'm not. Are you I'm cute? not good at picking up guys. It just, I just happen. Like, if I'm at a club or whatever and we're talking and, okay, let me buy you a drink and we take shots together or whatever. It's like, okay, you're kind of cute. I'm like, okay, you're kind of cute too. But I don't think that I have game. I know I'm cute. My titties are big. My ass is big. My stomach's not. But. Where are you calling I from? Just, Texas. Where I'm, t I'm in Texas right now. I will fuck you for 37 minutes. Whatever. <laughs> that's, see, that's why you're not Damn. getting the dick you need. I'll fucking put in work. I'm going to try hard on the pussy. I'll she fuck picky. you like I'm ugly. Look, that's funny as hell. But look, I'm not in Austin. You're in Austin. I'm not about to drive for 37 minutes. If I drive, you better fuck me for like two hours. What? If I'm going to fuck you for two hours, I got to be high. I'm going to get bored up in your pussy. <laughs> like I, I bet like, you won't. Be I bet wild. you I fucking will. You act like I never fucked a pussy before. Is your shit like no. fucking super? Does it come with a back rub while I'm doing it? It sure does. If that's what the fuck Get you need. Fuck out of here. Back rub. Get the fuck Seriously. out of here. That's... Seriously. That's not a lot to ask. If you're asking for back rub and you're saying you're going to fuck me, that's, that's a win-win. <laughs> All right, guy. You got it. You got a You got a Twitter page. We could we could hook you up with a motherfucking dude right now. Say your Twitter shit, and, and you'll get a bunch of dudes from Texas that'll hit you up, and then you can comb through them and see which one is worthy of your vagina. Yeah, that nasty shit. Wow, that sounds Have so send... like prostitutional. <laughs> well, you call you're not getting like paid. A prostitute, bitch. <laughs> see, wow. that's your problem. You, you you're go in like that. I'm just talking. You. Yeah, you complaining about not getting any good dick, and we're offering you solutions, and what do you do? You poo-poo the solutions. That's why you keep fucking these five-minute-ass motherfuckers. The fuck? Help me help you. Yeah, help. you're right. You're help right. Me. Help me. What is your shit? What is your Twitter? I don't I don't even have a page. I'm lame, I guess. What do you, you just have? You yourself. You're lame. What do you have? I want to see what you look like. You have an Instagram? These chicks that complain, uh, like, she doesn't know what that is. She doesn't even. Sixty percent of y'all girls that call up and complain about dudes, I look, I look you up, and you're not that cute. Exactly. You look like wow. the bottom of a boot. A lot of y'all. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I want to show you my picture. I don't need you putting my shit on your page or nothing like that. All right. Because I don't. E email it to me. Email it to me at All Out Show or All Out Show at Gmail. All right. Yeah, I'll do that. All I'll show at Gmail. She not going And you can drive out. I'm staying at the Ramada. It's this piece of shit hotel. It smells like an armpit. And then uh, I will have sex with you. Wow. Let's see. All out. You are welcome. All out. All show out. Gmail. Show. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> that motherfucking Gmail. It's what you're listening to right now. All out show at Gmail. For fuck's sakes. I will not fuck her, but I will no. say uh, I haven't. I don't think I've smashed a chick like that off of the show ever. I always say I'm gonna. Yeah, I hate bitches complaining about my pussy, and I be like, bitch. How come I can't find a good man? My <laughs> pussy is the shit. Like, God, Maybe was... you just ugly, and they just want to fuck you real fast and bail. That's why Medea's daughter. You don't even know what the fuck she look like.
Let's go to motherfucking uh, line one. What up, though? 814, who this? Oh, it's Alyssa. Hey, Alyssa, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, what you want to say? Um, I bought Hyena, and it is like the best book ever. I love it. Bam. I haven't Bam. even, like, I read it, but I haven't even finished it because I don't want it to be over, you know? I know, yo, just ba read it twice. Read it all you the way through, then put it down and read it again. Are you going to write another one? Right now, I'm concentrating on the Hyena book. And you yeah. can't even get it no more. You can't even buy that shit no more. I'll be giving it away. I'm glad I got it then. But yeah, that's I'm glad you got say. it too. Thank you, girl. I really appreciate that. Where you where you located? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. All right, I'm gonna be on the East Coast somewhere doing some book signing and shit. So uh, really, you come out. Yeah, you come out there and get your shit signed, girl. All right, I will. Thank Sign you. It. All right. All right, bye. Uh -huh, shit. All right. Go to, uh, this dude wants me to come to his fight. <laughs> what? Uh, let's see. This guy says he's going to last longer. He's in Philly, though. You can't talk to this that guy's boy. calling up trying to fuck some broad in Texas. You're in Philly, man. We need Texas dudes banging her. <laughs> Mason in Houston. What's up, Mason? Yo, what's going on? This is uh, Mason the Kim Genova. Um, we're throwing a fight on uh, 5700 Mantech Road, South Austin Gym, New York versus Texas. Mall Deep is our secret guest. We're going to show South by a little something new. We we got Carnival Acts perform, performing. Um, Rocky Kurt is supposed to roll through South Austin Gym, 5700 Mancheck Road. It's going down tonight. South by Southwest, what's that? Mancheck. Hey, uh, All right, man. Bye, Doc. Wow. All right, uh, let's play a yeah, song. Let's do that. Let's do that. Come right back. Fucking uh, go. Live in the middle South by Southwest. Let's go. Don't cry because it is. The all out show. It is. <laughs> Alright, so that uh the chick, the black chick that called up was yeah. talking about the dudes wouldn't fuck her long enough. Wait a minute, don't tell me you got a picture. She sent me a picture. How she look? She's attractive. What? She looks attractive. What? Yeah. Yeah, she looks attractive. Oh, I think shit. that's I think she is attractive. She said she got some titties. Like, ah. She do she here's the deal. She's like, based on her pictures, though, they're extreme close-ups. Mm. So that leads me to believe that she's probably a little bit overweight. <laughs> Do you see any um, chin? No, that's the thing. It's like she got that face that looked like... She got the face that looked like she real cute in the face, but you could just tell that body's going to be a little bit bigger gonna be a little bit bigger and what you're doing is uh you you'll be able to pull you a fucking black dude or a mexican dude because they got a different idea of what fat is even i would fuck you but you're just eliminating all the white guys in your repertoire and if oh. anything the white guys are gonna try even harder because mm -hmm. they're gonna try to represent for white people that's what i do white people broad. <laughs> yeah if I know I'm like banging a chick that never banged a white dude before, I'm fucking showing out in that pussy because I'm not just doing it for me. <laughs> I'm doing it for all white dudes out there. What, people? I can't have her walking away talking shit. You know, oh yeah, I fucked a white dude. That motherfucker was lame. You know what I mean? Nah, I need her to nah, be like, nah, nah, nah. I need her to be like, what just happened to me? <laughs> what the, what the fuck was that? I don't believe this. <laughs> I'm saying that's that pink dick, son. Oh wait! Oh wait! It wasn't even her. It was a different girl. That what sent the me that shit. Oh shit! Yo, you never sent your picture. I was I was commenting oh, on the chubby wow. girl. Where's what? Your I did send it. I sent two, three. Oh yeah, yeah. That was you. I was commenting on. Yeah, you look like you a little bit he healthy. I am. I'm thick. Mm. You a thick one. So what's, yeah. what happens is is you eliminating the you eliminating your chance at a Caucasian. A corny Caucasian fella by being thick. So you you know <laughs> we got Tech Nine just walked in here. <laughs> What's up, Tech Nine? What's up, brother? Let me get up. Yeah. Come on, sit down over here. How you do? How you do? How you do? All right, let me, I gotta put you on hold there, darling. You do hey, I would fuck you. I don't I wanna let you know that, Renee. <laughs> I would smash. Thank you. All right. You are welcome. <laughs> hold on, ho. You earned my dick. I don't know like I don't know if we would eat dinner before or afterwards, but I would definitely I don't need that. Yeah, I don't That's know. That's all. Oh, shit. That's all. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Let me see how to. Yeah. Tech 9, say some shit. 
Uh, some shit. Oh, oh, tech shit. nine's on the line. You what like them fucking nine? black chicks, right? Uh, I'm kicking it like a donkey, baby. What's cracking? Not much. She needs some, talking about she's not talking. getting... She needs some dick in her life. She, you don't have herpes or anything, do you? Do I have what? <laughs> herpes. Uh, he yeah. said you need dick in your life. He, he said you need dick in your life like you have problems getting it. You know what I'm saying? That's how I... No, 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 no. That's not the issue. I need it to be good. Oh. Yes. Oh, so the the cats you fucking with are not good is what you're saying, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have an any or an Audi? Mm. It's a peaky, I call it. It's a peaky? A peaky. It's a peaky. It's halfway in, halfway out. Oh. So I would kind of have to go at an upward motion as I'm going down to rub your clit with the base of my dick. For you to get an okay, I get it. I, get it. I thought you were talking about oh, belly we're buttons. Talking you're talking about clits. Yeah, 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 clits. Yeah. Oh, clit. It's yeah, yeah, it's a peaky too. It's fat, but uh, it's, <laughs> it's amazing how the clit mirrors the belly button. <laughs> yeah, totally, <laughs> totally, totally, totally. That's totally. crazy. I ain't talking about goes. no goddamn belly button. I would... You can tell you an old motherfucker, man. You got some skills. <laughs> Damn. You, yo, check now. Old as hell. Like, is it an any or out? You're like, who the fuck? You the first person to ever come in and yeah. ask that question. I mean, you ain't never, you ain't never, you ain't never, you ain't never kiss a bitch pussy that you had to kind of like find the clit and then oh, there's other bitch that got kind of like Vanessa Del Rio. You're like, not sure if you want to kiss that clit. Yeah, I've, I've <laughs> fucking ate like invisible clits and thumb clits. Exactly. Like, exactly. So, you know. Th thumb clits weird. It's easy though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you'll find it. The ones that are hard to find, you have to do it in a circular motion to the tip of your tongue there and then when they get to jerking you're like come on man like yeah, i just yeah, got yeah. i just found you it, yeah, took, it exactly. took me a minute to get there <laughs> that is so, so funny because when it's pierced i was told that's the target so you guys don't have to search nah don't you pierce that shit no. Nah, don't oh, shit, don't don't damage it. it. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of chicks with pierced clits, and it's cool. But all that shit about they, you can walk and you get a orgasm. Nah, you probably just harder to get one after a while. Probably. I was uh I was fucking with this one broad who had all these piercings, and I don't know what it was, but I think the oil in her skin. After a while, her whole head smelled like Doritos. Like everything, <laughs> everywhere there was a piercing, just smelled like Doritos. That's nasty. That's like it's disgusting. God. Yeah, like mildew or some shit, right? I still fuck, but oh yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. of course. Yeah. Of yeah, course, because what the fuck? Nasty as hell. I am a fucking dirt bag. Nasty. Yeah. So uh, it was a great show I got to watch yesterday. Did you see it? I saw half of it and then I got mad and left. <laughs> oh, oh, you got mad wow. and left. You, you, you. They wouldn't let me backstage. Ah, uh, there ain't no backstage back there. I was looking dead at you. They kept opening the door. You was wearing a red outfit. Ah, you might have been there, man. Yeah, I wasn't. I'm not lying, dog. They wouldn't <laughs> let me in, and then and then when I finally got in, they wouldn't let me backstage. And yeah. I'm like, I'm hosting the show, and this lady was like, "Oh, that's great." And then she just walked away, and I was like, "You know what? <laughs> Fuck this. I'm out of here." So Actually, you my like man, me? you were hot. Was you doing something? I felt me? like no, my man with the beard. Was you? Oh yeah, that was. Yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah you y'all. They was doing their thing, hosting some shit. So I was like, my, I'm not needed here. Uh, it's it's clear I'm not needed. Just here. tell the truth. You don't really fuck with Tech Nine, man. Well, I fuck with you. <laughs> I do. Oh, um, come on, man. Clearly, y'all didn't. <laughs> no, nah, I'm fucking with you. You guys didn't bother with. to put me on any paper. Like, the, oh, I was on no list whatsoever. I'm like, hey, I they just know. didn't know who the fuck I was. Damn. No, tell the truth. You just saw a bitch that you liked and you left. I wish I wish it was that. I wish that was the truth. I wish that was my truth. Yeah. But I had to drive. Because I saw some in there last night. You had, yo, it was a couple bangers. You had to drive last night. You said what? I had to dry dick last night. Oh, dry dick. I didn't get. I didn't get it wet, sir. Oh, damn. Did I hope you did? Cause you had your own show. I mean, I'm not gonna say it. If... A gentleman never has to. Uh, <laughs> a gentleman doesn't. Chris. Chris Calico. Did you get your? Dick I did wet? not, and I'm about to have a baby in like two days. Oh, dude. congratulations! <laughs> yeah, I did not. So I got my dick wet nine months ago. Wait. <laughs> And the baby is coming Saturday. And that's the last time he had it wet. Is really? What I'm trying to say. That's my favorite shit is pregnant pussy. That was like the I, only good mine. thing. Of, all right. I actually did not, don't enjoy it. Really? Uh, How come? Shit. Because I'm an overthinker, and so I'm thinking about what's physically going on inside of there right now. You're like, I'm jabbing my baby with the dick. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> my wife just told me today, like, they want to induce her labor, and you should come home. And I'm like, I, all I can think about is my baby's about to come out of there. So, no. You want no parts of that? No. 
Pussy, yeah, pussy. That's the least sexy time. It's to the look least at a sexy. Thank you for saying it. What I you was, mean? I was getting a little insecure. No, because I had pregnant pussy. And it was wonderful. No, no I love I pregnant like pussy. But when <laughs> the baby's coming out, you don't want to fuck. You got to do it no, before the baby crowns. Have you seen crowns. that happen? Have you seen that happen before? Yeah, I got a, I got a kid, and I almost fainted. Dude, uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't look the the, the t two times that I had. You know. I did. Well, here was my shit. I didn't know if I was the dad or not. So oh. I, I showed up, and I'm like, if this baby, she was with a black girl, I was like, if this baby comes out beige, it might be mine. You know what I mean? So like, I just was waiting, waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a tote baby. Yep. Sh sure enough, this little tote, little fucking conehead. I'm like. <laughs> It, and the crazy shit, uh, it ripped her shit, and I almost fainted, and then oh, I yeah. went and went outside. Gonna see Listen, that, I yeah. had my baby, and I came back on tour, and Tech was like, how was it? I said, I don't ever want to have sex again. Yeah. Cool. That shit. I, I never looked, because I have the kind of brain that'll keep playing it That's over and over and over. So I was on the side of her holding her hand while yeah. her... The doctor was down there. I'm like, breathe, breathe, breathe. You know what I'm saying? But I, I didn't never look. I didn't want to see because I knew that would fuck my brain up and I wouldn't want to fuck anymore. It would fuck your brain up. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. did. I never had sex with my baby mama again after that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Ever. That's crazy. But that's also because, like, I, I come from this old dude pulled me aside was like, hey, man. Like, if you're not going to lock down your baby mama, you can't be fucking her because it messes up her brain. And oh. I really respected what he said. It really made sense to me in that moment. Okay. You got to have clear uh, boundaries with the BM. Yeah. I, I, I'm sure you do, huh, Tech? I don't know, man. I, just, I don't know, man. Just, so you keep you kept smashing your baby mama? Nah. I mean, she was my wife, man. You know well, that's saying? different, dog. But, but like, I, got, like, a, I got another baby mama, that, but I don't. You I didn't, kept. I didn't, I didn't, she was, she was kind of crazy, so I. Did you continue yeah. fucking? Her? No, I did not, man. You, you know could just no one's listening, just us three. No, I didn't continue <laughs> fucking. All right, you know so we're on the same page. I mean, it, it, it was us three. It was it was good while it lasted, you know. And we had a beautiful son out of that. But uh, she used to be in a group with me, as, as a matter of fact. Oh damn, you was just, just really group. just yeah. fucking just oh uh, yeah, you just know. shitting where you eat, I've as all, they I've say. I've always fucked everybody I worked with back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, <laughs> hey Chris, how long y'all been working together? <laughs> no, I'm talking about females. I'm talking about females, my nigga. We've been working together for 15 years. Yeah, damn, it's not for me. <laughs> you motherfucker. I'm talking about females, female rappers, female singers. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, if if they if female they female record promoter, that's what's up. <laughs> yeah. you got, wait, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Like I'm joking. Twenty year old woman. I'm about to say, all right. <clears throat> Well then, I, me and you might have been in the same spots before then, because I think I've, uh, I think I put my dick in some girls that uh, that worked with you before. I'm sure, man. Wow, that's awesome. I'm sure. Me and you are like brothers. Totally, totally. <laughs> We're dick brothers. We're just... <laughs> Dick, dick brothers. Yeah, that's funny. Pro homo. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> Take it in the hip. <laughs> Is that the the woman's leaving? The yes. that's your lady that's leaving right now. Oh, I was just joking. Circle of truth. Did you have sex yeah. with Tech Nine? <laughs> Come back here. Last night. <laughs> Last night claimed it all. Come on, now she left. Did you? Did I you really fuck? had a ball. You smashed her too. No God, way, man. dude. Come on, man. No way. Come on. I mean, I tell you, if it was uh, you I'm ate a her ass, I'm talking her. about you fucking know. doggy style, nigga. Yeah. Froggy style, surfboard, surfboard. <laughs> What is that shit? What does that mean? I was wondering what It's the... like froggy style, man, when a woman turns like she's riding you just turns around that way and she's like in the water, y'all in a bathtub and she rides you like that, you know what I'm saying? Did anyone tell Beyonce that it's actually surfboard and not surfboard? <laughs> surfboard. Surfboard. Surf I mean, she's from Houston, man. You know I what figured cuz you know, she yeah. don't swim. You know, like, they're going to let her they're going to let her off and shit. Yeah. Surfboard. Surfboard. Yeah. So uh what else you got? You doing a show with G Pan too, aren't you? Are you doing some shit with G Pan or uh, no? Am uh, I wrong? I don't know what that is. Okay, then you're not doing a show with them. What do you? Who are you doing a show with? Who are you doing a show with tonight? I don't know. I just got all my niggas in the house, man. Stevie Stone is in this motherfucker. What's up, May Day, May Day is in this motherfucker. What's up, Mayday? Motherfucking Chris, Chris Calico. Calico. You know what I'm saying? Got a baby uh, on the way. Merce is here with us. You know what I mean? Hello, Merce. Where's Merce at? No, no, he's not here with us, but he's here in Austin. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got to see Merce perform. I was in. I was in the crowd. Oh, okay. When yeah. I was supposed to be hosting, Damn. It. that was awesome. Damn. After every performer, I got to feeling worse and worse. I was like, they don't need me. Damn. They don't need me here. I and mean, I at the end, that was right before I went on. So, I well, yeah. the Ritz, you know what I mean? But, damn, you was there that long. That's fucked up. Yeah. 
Yep. Nobody told me. You know what I'm saying? I, Everybody's drunk in that motherfucking man. Dog, it was like really frustrating because I could see you and the man that needed to tell you was standing right in front of me and uh -huh. he just I don't know if he was Yeah, it was like it was like a box where we were and they were unloading the Mayday shit so they wouldn't let motherfuckers come back and forth. Yeah. But somebody's supposed to know that you're supposed to be hosting and shit. You know what? In in their defense, I do not look like I should be hosting. Her. <laughs> in their defense, I did not look like I look like I was be playing. Yeah, yeah, or I was <laughs> came here to do y'all taxes or some shit like that. Like, yeah, I need to do Tech Nine's yeah, taxes. Yeah, since you cut your hair, yeah, you look real. I got business like. Well, that's that's my whole thing because yeah. it's good to be able to travel or drive around with shit on you and not be fucked with. Totally. They still fuck with us, though. Yeah. Well, look at you and then look at me. <laughs> All about I'm going to look rich as fuck. They're like, yeah, we're going to get this motherfucker. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, man. Yeah, you guys are balling out of control. I'm driving around in a Mazda all low-key and shit. Ah, uh, shit. That's how you're supposed to be. Sometimes we mob like that so motherfuckers won't fuck with us. That's what's up. Yeah, tenant windows and shit. Let's play one of your songs. What you got? All right, uh... Got all kind of shit, huh? Read that to me, Sam. I can't. Tech Nine Acapella Fragile. Oh, we're going to perform this motherfucker? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I got Mayday in the house and all shit. I right, bet. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna uh, do it acapella. They don't have the track. We're going to do it acapella. What'd you say? Acapella. We can. We're going to do Fragile mm, Acapella. Ba -da -doo, da -doo. No, no, they, they got the Ooh, fucking. They, do ba -da -doo, they don't do it acapella. Do. No, Dave sent it to them. Dave sent the music. I don't. Hey, man, look. But y'all reading it right there, right? What you I'm read? just reading words. I didn't read music. This is okay, words typed there. on they the don't board. The what does it say? What does it say? <laughs> we got the regular track. Tech Nine Acapella Fragile Space. We'll perform now. Space. Then go into original space. Okay. I, here's a little secret. I don't want to throw everybody under the bus. Okay. This studio's a fucking piece of shit. And oh, okay. we just figured out how to work the microphone. Oh, so like, we, we can send y'all what we were supposed to send y'all. We literally oh. just got this. I mean, you can play the song and we can do the motherfucker. I don't I give mean, a fuck. Can we play the song from here? Yeah. Or, no, <clears throat> no, but there's a delay, so you'll sound like you're off oh, beat. Oh, so we're going to do it a cappella, like you said. Or if you just want to spit a free or some shit like that. We'll, you... do, we'll do the song. We ain't never did that before. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it, dude. Let's fucking... <laughs> Said you never ever pray down, but here I am sweeping pieces off of the ground. Let's recognize. You said you'd never ever play to crowds, but I seen you hoping to play songs to them now. I've spent all night long, scared of tomorrow, broke my alarms. Everything's almost lost, pick it up slow before it's gone. I'm, I'm fragile, hey, wish I'd have known. I never thought I'd be so, what? Fragile, you're not alone. Then didn't break before it's Bitch. About, about to. We've been here before. I don't ever want to change. I'm, I'm fragile. fragile. I don't ever. Yeah. Some of the people appointed to give an opinion never do get it. I want you to come in on Gabala Jimmy and da. You need to be given the remedy and why. Critics are really the enemy, and I can't stand the way they slammed today's gifted, effing incredible. Get banned away with grants to pay. This gem will a scripted, deaf and impeccable. Ride around and I put everything in a flow. I'm the nine of the very mean when I foe. Scrabble line, but he has never been at a show. By the time it'll be better, leave it in the stove. Cause they wrote nothing but lies. Quotes stuck in my eyes. And let's ride a dissent. He's a beginner with hopes for your demise. Folks, some of despise. Never to try to listen. It's real. I'm mad. Clueless when you scribble on your pad. How you gonna criticize with a chisel on your neck? Sizzle in your ad. You don't really get why I'm so pissed. Understand this. Understand this. I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. Yes, I'm fragile. Hey. Wish I'd have known. I never thought I'd be so. What? Fragile. You're not alone. Then didn't break before it's 
about to We've been here before I don't ever want to change I'm fragile I don't ever Tell me that you love me, always thinking of me <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time we ever did this. That shit was sweet as hell. Yeah, yeah. Took, it to the shop, Took it to the barbershop. I know, okay. right? Fair East Side. Yeah. <laughs> East Side. Tell that, that, that big motherfucker on the other end that I got a size 5X jersey for him. Good you got a 5X my jersey nigga. for you, sir. I do. I do. I do. My nigga, take hey, nine. Dude. Thank you for day, the jersey, man. my nigga. <laughs> my nigga <laughs> Serious my nigga man Hey um, Yeah we did get you A uh, nice jersey though man I bought you some shit too bro Thank you man I appreciate you Yeah I don't I know where the fucking shit is But I think we have it with us I hope we have it with us We packed it for you guys All the way in Kansas City, Missouri Before we drove to this motherfucker KC Mo Yes KC Mo I wouldn't mind going out there man you should. I can let, let me hook up a. Uh, I want to do a book giveaway out there in KC. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm gonna get up with I'm you with about you. that. Yeah, I'm you serious. Eat meat? What's that? You eat meat? Fuck yeah, do I okay. eat the face off a pig? Okay, okay, okay. So I take you where the pigs are being slaughtered. It's called a uh, Jack Stack Barbecue and Gates Barbecue. We'll show you. You know what I'm saying? The best barbecue in the world. I'm with that dog. Ooh, we beat ooh. Texas all the time. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Hey, I, I Chris Calico looked cool as hell singing. He had a uh, half burnt cigar in his hand and shit. You look Dean Martin type. You look like a like a sad mob boss, like okay. thinking about like the good old days okay. when everybody was alive and shit. <laughs> hey, hey, hey who's Dean Martin? <laughs> Doesn't really matter where you go, yeah. where you've been, yeah. beautiful foreign lands you've been in, gunplay rains, sun or shine, stay inside, you will be fine. You know what I'm saying? I look like I should've been taking that. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> Your uh, lady told me not to say nothing, but I, I did anyway. Your producer lady, Sam, that's your name, Sam? She said, don't yeah, say my nothing, name. I don't know who you are, so I was going to be quiet, but then I said, fuck that. Fuck that shit. Because then he said, Thank Chris, you. I already, Come on, me. But see, I already knew he knew no, me, that I was just following the rules, baby. Put that bit. I already knew he knew I appreciate oh. you. Because I would have cussed her out anyway. No, <laughs> no matter what happened, I was like, what the fuck, fuck you doing, that's okay. Sam? That's okay. <laughs> My real name is Sam. Damn. Way, oh, yeah? Yeah, it is. Did oh, you know shit. Who's Sam? Who's Voight no, Deeper? Her name is Sam, too. Oh, okay. My album is called I know Son of Sam. Damn. Wait, who's Voight yeah, Deeper? <laughs> yeah. Who's Voight Deeper? Hold on. Let's have a deep off. Say, <laughs> go ahead. Say <laughs> some <laughs> shit, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, you, fuck both of you. Hey. She can't do the deep off. She can't do the deep off. I don't know. Go ahead. I'm not doing the deep off. I can't tell. Deep off. That sounds like something different, Sam. The deep off. Yeah. Let's have a deep off. The deep off in that ass. In that motherfucker. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, I want to thank you all for coming by and thank shit. Thank you for having me, bro. You, you don't know where you're going to be performing tonight? You really don't? Yeah, Scoot In. It's called Scoot, Scoot In? The Scoot In, dude. The Scoot In. Like yeah. 4th and Congress, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scoot In, 4th yeah. and oh, Congress. It's going to be an independent, independent, independent festival. festival. Independent I think, festival. I think, I think Dizzy Wright is on it, and all of us are on it, man. And <clears throat> yeah, Dom Kennedy problem. It's going to be a crazy oh, It's going to be dope, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy yourself over there. Uh, you Great lineup. I couldn't get into the one I was supposed That's to be on. Up. You, you know what I'm saying? All you had to do was call Richie and say, Richie, they ain't fucking I don't have, with me. I ain't had no one's number, man. And Sam was up in the air. Damn. You ever PB sound like he from the north side of Kansas City? Yeah. He's like, I'm going to come down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, That's he, how they he, talk in Kansas City. He talk City like the, the Crips talk in Kansas City. Who, me? Yeah. I sound like a Kansas City Crip. You claim you claim on the north side. No, I claim motherfucking top sider. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Bow shoes, my dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's all Jesus. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I guess yeah. I do got on some blue crip boat, uh, yeah, boat yeah. shoes. Man, with that everybody, jacket, man. That everything. Don't mean nothing. Everything. Yeah, yeah, I do look, yeah. We well, I everyone. could never we be a, I, I could, honestly, I could never be a blood, man, because look at my pink undertones. Like, it just would, it wouldn't look good. You were born good. a blood. Look at you. I, I wouldn't look face. good with red. That's what I'm saying. It would make, I need, a, I need something that's going to be like Contra. orange, gotta, that's going to bring out the blue of my eyes. I'm mahogany, my nigga. Look, I'm brownish red. What nigga says he's mahogany? <laughs> <You're dying around. laughs> That's why I just had to stay away from all that gang shit. Good just colored motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you are the same color as Bob Marley. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Jamming. <laughs> Tech Nine, everybody. All right, let's jump off into this fragile right now. Let's, let's go. Do D Shade 45, we are back. It is the All Out Show. Lord San New York and Jude is out at South by Southwest. We're running a guest bus, though, on you. It's like one guest after the next guest <laughs> after the next Damn. motherfucking guest. Wait, is that Raka, Sierra Raka. in New York City? That's right, doggy. 
You know, Sierra ass don't never motherfucking <laughs> want to travel and shit, right? Oh, it's man, like, it's been 10 years. Man. This motherfucker went nowhere, dog. Like, man, you know, they always send my ass. I we, see, we see, I see Sierra Sutra, man. Oh, he, go from, he go from Shade 45 to Sutra. That's it. Oh, yeah, he, he, he gets Tuesday, to the Lower man. East Side. That's the furthest he gets, man. Whatever, Jew. You know he's in Shy Town. Remember I had that foot injury? That was eight years ago, dog. Oh, damn. He's so far away. He is so far away, Reese. He is. He's fucking. Hello, hello. He's fucking hey. Yeah. Hey. And you just bringing up Bass Tyler. Like, hey, you saw you in New York? Yeah, he's in fucking New York. He don't right. leave New York. It's like every time oh, we do shit. some on location shit, guess who the fuck they send? Hi. And, like, they don't put us in nice hotels either. This is a nice place. This is a nice place. I had to sleep next to like uh there was I slept next in a shithole a house yesterday with like a rooster outside <laughs> and a gang of drunken real, Mexicans real, real that Texas threatened shit. me. Welcome yeah. to South by Southwest. You're I, not the only one. You was out there too? No, but it's a lot of indie bands out there. Oh yeah, I'm not, not a, a fucking indie country. band. That's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta document. You gotta document. I'm not document. motherfucking indie band. I'm fucking. <laughs> I made it, but apparently I haven't because I'm in a fuck. I'm sleeping next to a rooster. <laughs> Tyler, what's up, man? What's up, man? Introduce everybody you brought with you. Uh, I got from Philadelphia. Ooh, super, ooh. super, super beautiful, sexy, sexy Reese. Raka Reese. And, and representing Brazil Whoa. by way of Argentina, by way of Orlando, Florida. I got the homie Nico is on the MIC. Pop. <laughs> you sound cool as hell. That's popping. Yo, why did you leave Brazil and Argentina, man? Those are like the most bangingest chicks. Hello. Come back. You going back there? I'm going back. Fucking hell, you are. <laughs> Look, we don't do everything for girls, but I do a lot of things for girls, and I would, <laughs> I really want to go to Brazil and get some chicks pregnant. Hey, and at least leave. you're better than, than Vlad. Vlad. I heard that all day. Vlad, Vlad was like. Oh, you from Brazil? I'm, I go there all the time. Oh, he thirsty. Though. Oh God! <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. He th look at his face and look at my face. I'm pulling. I'm. I can pull a bitch without paying for that shit. <laughs> I mean, I like Vlad and all, He's but a come on. Too, ladies. He's a looker. I'm a fucking. I'm easy on the eyes. Easy on the eyes. And I'll fuck you like I'm ugly. <laughs> you gotta do it. You gotta bang him like you got a point to prove. You know what I'm saying? I used to be a fat kid. I, I fuck you like I'm fat. Like I hate myself still. I'm like, oh, oh gee, shit. This is why I don't come in on your fucking show. This we need to come why. here more often. They're fun. <laughs> why don't you come on the show? I'm just playing, man. I love coming on Rude Jude's show. This first time I come with the Javoti media. I just seen Laura Sear last week. Yes. Um, what, were, what were you talking about, Sear? We was um, talking about some coins. What is it? Um, coins. Bitcoins. Internet coins. Bitcoins. Yeah. Internet, Internet coins. coins. Science coins. Talking about them yeah. science coins. This is the elusive... <laughs> Mysterious theoretical Bitcoin. Yeah, what's yeah. your theory on Bitcoins, Talib? Um, Quali? You know what? I, my theory on Bitcoin is 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 a coin for rich white people. <laughs> I need to get some of them yeah, motherfuckers. You, what you want? You know? Well, Hello. apparently I'm not there yet. I'm not. <laughs> Bitcoin, I'm not on that Bitcoin, level Bitcoin yet. Bitcoin is the first currency with groupies. Really? Yeah, that's groupies. Bitcoin, Bitcoin groupies? groupies. Don't dollars got groupies too? Like, bitches, yeah, love dollars. bitches love dollars. They love dollars. Make it rain and see where but, them groupies come from. They fucking <laughs> whoop out of, out of no, the woodwork. See, Bitco Bitcoin got groupies and it doesn't even really exist. You know what I'm saying? Like, Same with dollars. That shit is just imagination. But dollars is a paper. Just because the paper, paper ain't worth nothing, the paper still exists. Still so, the actual paper is still a physical thing. The only difference is a coupon. The dollar is like a coupon and the it Bitcoin is, is like... It's they like just, a promissory note. It is a promissory note. I promise you I might pay you later, maybe. <laughs> yeah, cause it, like my sh the way I get paid, like I don't touch anything. Like they hit some buttons and then woof, poof, Bitcoin. some shit poofs into my <laughs> bank account. Then I pull out some more money and they, then it poofs they pay going. You on PayPal, is that what it is? They pay. I'm direct deposit. You know that's right, what you right. do when you're a, when you got a corporate job. <laughs> direct you just direct, direct deposit. Poof. Yeah. You ain't gonna see me in a check cashing line. Fuck see that. With the, with the sound effects. Yeah, yeah. I try to do a sound effect. <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. What's up, Reese? You performing too? I am. I, I performed yesterday. In, yeah, I'm gonna perf I perform today on the party bus, and I'm gonna. We perform did that already, Reese. Uh, yeah, we, I performed today. Yeah, we already did it today. Reese, I want to tell you something. I believe <laughs> you've been out for a while, right? Yeah, I've been out for for a minute. 
Me and, me and my girl, my ex, got in a big fight at your fucking show one time. Perfect. She was. You guys fight about? She just started uh, <laughs> birth control, so she was like really fucking moody and yeah. stuff. And, and I was outside smoking cigarettes, <laughs> and she felt like I wasn't being supportive of enough of your music, and she fucking Good. cussed me out. And, and see, that's what happened. And then I walked in there. You was like, "Where are my black people at?" I was like, "Well, fuck this. I'm going back outside." I did not say that. Where are my black people? I'm glad, I'm glad she took you to the show, and I'm glad she cussed you out because you should be very supportive. I was supportive. I gave you some money, right? right. I took her ass there. <laughs> yeah. Paid for her going. shit. Like, what else do I need to do? Like, you need to what? hold her hand and rock to the left and to the right as I sing. And then put on some panties because I'm a bitch. <laughs> nah, man. Like, I was. I just went outside to smoke, man. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with smoking. Maybe call her on a bad night. It's yeah. that, yo, you know, when you but do I'm that glad you guys birth came. control, you get that birth control and you start fucking with the hormones. I don't know. That's not, I, I don't. You I don't, don't do the birth control? I haven't yet to this day. Don't do the birth control. I don't like, I don't like the idea of tricking my body. I don't it's like the idea. It's a trick. Yeah. You've been bamboozled. Yeah, you've been bamboozled. You've been hoodwinked. Yeah. Let it stray. Yeah, Plymouth Rock didn't land on your uterus. Your reads. Your reads. I like that joint uh, you did with Nas with Ice King. Oh, right on. I was on. I, you know, I like it now. I'm gonna be honest. I um, I I love the song, and you know, we. You don't like Nas? No, I love Nas. Is that what you say? Why don't you no. like Damn, Nas? Damn, why you, you like Nas? What is Nas? 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 Yeah, that's are fucked up. Be honest. You why do you like the Takeover Nas? better, Reese? Nas. Yo, you Nas are Nas so mean. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so mean. No, I love Nas, but honestly, I really uh, I know I was young, and I was just like, you know, hey uh. I was used to people doing things more than once, you know, or, or letting me hear it and decide if I liked it or not. And I was, I saw him in like a Baja Fresh. I'm like, yo, um, do, is there any way you can like do that again? Like try it again? <laughs> exactly. They, all his friends were like, this girl hey, behind you, doesn't like get it. Like, no, you know? And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now I listen to it, I actually do like it. So like, you, I, I liked it. It's like, duh. Sometimes, like sometimes it takes a little. Sometimes you're so close to your your work, you can't even tell. Like yeah, it's it was, hard to tell what's was, good or what's not. Yeah, it was good, and I guess I was just used to at the time being very like critical, super critical, and being like, okay, let's see if you do it again, what it would sound like. And it's like, no, he's not. Talib Kweli, yeah, you seem so, like a critical type rapper. Sometimes, because you know, your your shit is mad smart. Unless you <laughs> just do it smart the first time. <laughs> now I do do overs, man. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I do a do overs. Um, I the one that's only one time I asked somebody to do a do over. That was she gonna be mad at me too. That was <laughs> come on. That was, circle of trust. Trust. that was Jane Doe. Remember we did that Black Star uh, throwback yeah, yeah. thing. Jane Doe on the record. Um, me it was me Wordsworth punchline most deaf on twice in a lifetime, and it was to, gonna be the last. Mo Jane Doe Wordsworth punchline most had a group they were doing Q Tip. That's mm -hmm. why they was on. They they also got a, a posse cut on the Love Movement album. So the whole idea was to you know, to promote this posse that they was you know posse. That's how old. Posse, yeah. Ooh, damn. Yeah, throw, <laughs> you you on some throwback <laughs> but shit. You probably like it now. The posse. Back, it probably really was. No, but she did the verse over. So tell me oh, about your posse. I, my posse. <laughs> this, is my, this is my Javoti Media posse, man. Yeah. This is my crew. What kind of shit do you do? Nico. Yeah, Nico. Nico. Nico is. You do the rap shit too. I do the rap. I, I feel like you should just. I, Look, I'm sure rap works for you, but I feel like you should be like the Brazilian Barry White in this bitch, because your shit is mad bassy, man. You'd be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Come on, baby. <laughs> what that? I don't know what, yeah. You come on. Hey, man, you, so what's it like down there in Brazil, bro? It's beautiful. You ever go in the hood over there? Because I saw that one movie. City of God? The City only God. one? I, the, that's the only one. <laughs> City, 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 City of Man. There's a few. There's a few. City of God. That's the one I saw. That's the one. I saw one with most Def playing a Brazilian. Have you ever seen that movie? Oh, oh, was, uh, I want to see Brazilians yeah. playing Brazilians. Yeah. Quit stealing bros from Brazilians. Yeah. Stop it. For real? What's the name of that movie? Somebody get on Google and tell me the name of Most Def when he was Brazilian in that movie. Uh, Yo, I bet you could pull mad bitches with the fucking Portuguese and the fucking Do that shit? You do that shit on them chicks? I do it. You know, he rapping Portuguese. Yeah, For real? Totally. On the mixtape. Yeah. We got a mixtape of all uh, Brazilian. Oh, the movie. Samples. Wait, hold on. The movie's called Journey to the End of the Night. Yeah, Journey to the end of the night, most death after Brazil. Wait, what's Nico's mixtape? That shit gets no that. play in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> did you just see, see it, though? I didn't know. Now I gotta see it. Didn't know who But the mixtape's called Good Blood. Oh. Okay. How you say it in Portuguese? Sangue Ball. Sangue Ball. Is that Kechi? I thought it was Kechi. Huh? 
Well, not producer. Casey's got a notoriously deep voice for oh. a woman, so we oh, often oh, we is. often uh, inside yeah. joke. Yeah, <laughs> it's right there. Sorry, sorry, most. <laughs> it's in my sorry. pocket. You sorry, guys, I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to bring you in on the inside joke. <laughs> I'll leave you on the outside. I'll be. I'll stay out here. It fucks shit up sometimes. Now I don't even know where to go. Now <laughs> it's fucking awkward. It just killed the conversation. No, nah, it was. And so we was talking about Brazil and uh, Portuguese rap. Yeah. Yeah, and the mixtape. And the mixtape. Mixtape. Y'all performing tonight or what? We are performing at the Javoti Media versus Duck Down Showcase on Saturday night at Palm Door on the Six. If you're in Austin or if you're on your way to Ad, come. It'll be Reese, Corey Moe, Nico Is, Nizzy Nice, Tina Apex, Mob Deep, Twister, Twista, Mers, oh, that's just myself. Gonna be crazy. We got a live Stupid. band. It's going to be stupid. It's the only thing in town. When only is this going to be? What, tonight? Saturday night. Saturday night. March I'm gone. 15th. You got to be at Damn it. I had to fly official. out. Yeah. Official oh, yeah. like a yeah. referee with a whistle. Oh, oh, there you go. That's it. There you go. There you go. Let's play a song and come back with y'all. 8 8 7 4 2 3 3 4 5 I don't know what we got over there. Let's, let's uh, get into, uh, which one you get into? Violations? Violations. Let's great. get into me and Raekwon, the chef. This is my new album. I didn't plug my new album. Violations. Yeah, man. Gravitas, QualiClub.com. If you're listening right now, go to QualiClub.com, K-W-E-L-I Club.com. My new album's featuring Underachievers, Big Crit, uh, Gary Clark Jr., who's from Austin. You know, Raekwon, the chef, he's on the song right now. Let's go. Let's go. That's 45. Classic right there. To live is that a classic? It's a new classic, man. Yo, Ramitas. I'm in stores now. I'm in stores out right now. I was is in stores. It's not on iTunes, though. Not on oh, iTunes. Not I on iTunes. What happened? Nah, this no. is the one you're doing on your own, off your own website. That's right. So Shout out to my out iTunes people. I'm trying to come to the showcase tonight. Oh. Okay. However, this album, I got 12 albums on iTunes. This one is for the fans, for me. But I am going to put this album on iTunes in, in a, a little bit. In a couple months. I'm just trying to get everybody <laughs> email first. Bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, come holler at me. I got some ways for you to get emails, my man. Okay. Oh, sure. I got motherfucking see, ways I, and techniques. But see, I need the emails from the people who spend money with me because those are the emails that's guaranteed to open when I send them emails. Bruh. When you buy it at qualityclub.com, you get an email to me. I get yeah. your email. Speak on it. Yeah, and then, you know, that's this way when I put out my next project, instead of spending money marketing canvas in the whole market, I just email the people already know Laser. known to spend money with me. Laser. Yes. 100%. Direct the fan hand to hand. This is a new way to do it. This is the way that's going to get you the freedom to do what you want to do. I agree. In the future. And iTunes, look, iTunes is a great outlet. You know what I'm saying? Because 90% of people who buy music buy it from iTunes. You know what I'm saying? It's a great place to get music at. But I, on top of having iTunes love, I need to have my own on top of that. I'm going to be real with you. That's I used to steal music because why the fuck not? And then I would, now I do it like this. I just get it on my little iTunes phone. Cause I be uh. like I want, I want to do drugs and then listen to music. <laughs> right. So like you don't want to have to be dependent on the internet. I that's what it seems like it would be really hard like for. Streaming? Yeah, it would be really hard for me to get your. I'd be afraid to go to your site on drugs because I don't know if I'd be able to tackle that. But well, lucky yes. for you, you don't have a bunch but, of ketamine abusers that <laughs> listen to your shit. No, there's your like stuff. there's a few. There's a few. There's a few. But that's what it is. I realize. <laughs> don't I realize. Out. Yeah, you know, don't you know? It's, okay. I, I realized that you know, like, like it's a it's a grand experiment. I like I like having I like having QualityClub.com. The fans who support me there, I'm glad. But a lot, the the vast majority of my fans, not only do they not know about Gravitas, but even if they do, the vast majority of them are not coming to Quality Club. They're like, oh, it's, you know, iTunes is very very fucking convenient. You know Dog. I'm yeah, it's that phone yeah. shit. It's hard yeah. to beat a fucking. A thumb, like, I'm just doing, yeah. I just bought, like, eight songs with my thumbs as we was talking. Me too. I be Shazam in the air, catching the air, buying the iTunes. I do that all the time. And, it, you know, it allows me to support the music. By the, I'd rather have, I'd rather own it. I'd rather have it in my phone. I play it when I want to play. I feel you. Yeah. What you been listening to lately? Um, Nico is a good blood mixtape. I'm very, very plug, impressed. Plug, plug, plug. Uh, you know, it, uh -huh. that was a plug. Plug, that, plug, plug. That was definitely a plug, <laughs> was, but you know. What else you listening to that you're really, not associated uh, with? Reese. My stuff. You motherfucker. <laughs> That's what, uh, no, I'm never um, going to get her. It's like talking to a politician. For real? What am I listening to for real? Um, I'm, I definitely am listening to good, good blood because it's, it's new and yeah. it's fresh. Um, I'm listening to, you know, I'm DJing now. So yeah. I, my, my, the way I listen is different. Like, now I listen to see what I can play. What's going to move the crowd? You're listening yeah. for shit that's going to move But I, I listen for things that are just people don't think about. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what? Give me one song, for um, instance. I'm listening to like a lot of, you know, some, I like right now I've been listening to a lot of Roots and Petey Crack. All right. Throw, throw that ah. back in my set. You know what All saying? right. You, go. Um, Ring. you know, March 9th just passed. I did. I was in Orlando 
doing a DJ and, and I, I spent a whole day listening to obscure Biggie. Now you go on these DJ websites. There's a bunch of Biggie remixes like Biggie and Janae Iko, or that's how you say her name, right? I don't even know, bro. Janae, yeah, Janae Iko. Yeah, Janae, Janae Iko. Biggie Janae, and Janae Iko remix. You no, know, a bunch of I was listening to a bunch. I spent like six hours listening to some Biggie stuff that I hadn't heard before. No shit. Interesting things that DJs are doing. I was I was checking out Sia. Sia was the other day was playing. Um, he was just playing remixes. You played uh, Ill Reeves. Like I'm known for the for having the the remixes. You played uh, oh you played some Demar. You played the Marvin Gaye. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, uh, Outcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, let's um, was, let's get it on Marvin Gaye. Let's get it yeah. on. Um, I was, was I was shazamming while you was playing playing them joints. Uh, <laughs> Bam. He was playing some. He was playing some shit. He played. What's that name? That you played some hardcore uptown group. Some uptown niggas. Some hardcore shit. And after you, uh. I was listening. I was like, these niggas cannot rhyme, but they hard as. Fuck. Nah, that's what after it, the original painting from the movie painting was A Z Whip Wop Gangsta Lou Pretty Tone right. Capone Gangsta Lou the yeah, Gangsta Lou record. Style. And when he finished playing it, mob style. When he finished playing it, he was like. They're not the most lyrical. They gave a disclaimer. <laughs> the most lyrical, <laughs> but it's very, very. These yeah, are some real it. killers. They some real niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the original A Z, not the rapper A Z, but yeah, you know. Right. Which had bars. Who's Whip Wop? That's what I'm like. Yeah, Whip Wop. Clearly from Harlem. Eighth, seventh. You know what I mean? Thirty second. Yeah. Whip Wop is up there <laughs> doing it. That's one of the best hip hop names ever. Whip -wop. You just need to get on a track with him, Reese. Whip Wop. Reese and Whip Wop. Where's he at? Whip Wap. Um, probably in Harlem still. Hip -hop. I'm guessing. I get. It. I like Harlem. <laughs> well, yeah, it's. Go get them. They're having a renaissance up there. Go fucking yeah, handle that shit. Yeah, the falling down too out this month. Oh, For real? Yeah. yeah, the building. Two buildings collapsed in Har Harlem. Yeah. Um, last night. Just found out seven people. Once, um, seven people died. It was on 116. Shit. Yeah. Shit. Blew up. I'd be mad if my Bad building news. collapsed. I would be salty. Where I was staying last night felt like that shit was gonna collapse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, whatever. Yeah. Shit is real. Yeah. All right, y'all. I want to thank you, everybody, for coming by and chopping it up here on the All Out on Show. The guys. All Out Show. Yes. Let everybody know oh, where they can get get to you and all that shit. All like, plug out. everything you need to plug. First, you first, son. Nico is best hair in the biz. You download my music for free. NicoIsMusic.com. N i k o i s Music.com. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Nico High. One love. OG shit. Tyler Quali, I'm in the, I'm in these streets, man. <laughs> oh, shit. He's out Just here. Just find me. He's out here. My name, out is, here. My name is Reese, and um, I'm I'm everywhere too. Just Google mm. me, R E S. Three Google. little letters. Hit me on iTunes. Just hit me on iTunes, right. and then you understand. Reese is on iTunes. Yeah, then you understand. She, you like Fleetwood Mac? <laughs> she had an album of Fleetwood Mac cover. Yeah. Re Refried Mac. You could buy it. You could buy it on your phone right Very now. Dope. Oh, I'm gonna get yeah. that right yeah. now. I was yeah. listening. I, that, yo, that's Bobby my. Favorite? What are your favorite Fleetwood Mac songs? Well, I I really like Rumors, and I really like the okay. first Fleetwood Mac. So that we Fleetwood did, Mac, Fleetwood Mac. We did Rhiannon, Change, Yeah, Edge of Seventeen, mm. Dreams. You should have called and me. Little Lies. Listen to the wind blow. Right. Watch me. She killed that. She killed that. Oh, Who's that Harry girl singing? Yeah, that's my jam. <laughs> damn you love, damn you lie. Go ahead. Yeah. You know what my jam is? I like I like uh I like uh. When I was going Man, through a I breakup, I was listening to Songbird and shit, just driving around real depressed and shit. That'll get you. Yeah, right? That'll it's get you. It's fucking awesome. We go back, have, they have great, great lyrics, great melodies, but I just updated the music. I changed all the music. Not I, well, not just me, but a guy named Tom Spiker. Shout out Tom Spiker. Raga, raga. And, uh, it's called Refried Mac. It's on iTunes. My name is Reese, R-E-S, and uh, take a listen. I'll check that shit it. out. Yeah. Because mm. I fuck with Fleetwood Mac, man. You're, you're going to love it. For it, real. You're going to like All right, y'all. We're going to play some music. Come on back. We got Black Milk on deck waiting. One love. Shout out to Yo, K45. We are back. It is the All Out Show. What it do? What, what it do? do? Yes. We're going to motherfucking Detroit by way of Dallas. Or Dallas by way of Detroit. I don't know. Uh, my man Black Milk up in this bitch. What up, man? Black what up, man? What's Black good? Milk. How you doing, dog? Chilling, man. With y'all again. Here with y'all again, man. You know? right. It's good to yeah. have you here. Back sooner than later, man. That was just a few months ago when I was... Chopping it up with y'all. I know we was a little upset too, cause cause know, we man. broke your albums and then oh. you did, went and did Sway Show that first. Was, but was, we see how the fuck it that is. Was, that was a one time man. redheaded stepchildren <laughs> of this station. <laughs> y'all got me first this time, and you know Sway is tomorrow. So, so yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah. yeah Sway, <laughs> take that, yeah, Sway. Yeah, and what? Yeah. You'll probably get a fr some free shoes from Sway shit, though. Mike, we, uh, all you got was a book from me. <laughs> no, this, this was up. Man, congrats on that, too. Bro. We can get you a cup of coffee or something. Like, uh, we could sweeten the deal here. What nah, else man, I got? Yeah, you know, y'all hold me down, man. Y'all been holding me down. So you man. smoke weed or anything? I, I can hook you up with a G-Pen. See? 
I I I I can hold that, man. Let me All hold right. that. There you go. Let me hold that, Drew. G- I get my number, I'll fucking lace you. I'll fucking Let me hold that. I'll tighten your shoes, bro. I'm gonna lace it, you. It, it feel good though to be here with you finally in the in the flesh versus, you know what I'm saying? In New York and never get a chance to see you. So yeah. I know this is true. Like me and you, every time we do a fucking interview, yeah. I'm all in LA. I'm with Sear most of the time. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. What's the main difference? And he always and he all that nigga always eating, man. Every time I walk in there, so. is he? <laughs> yeah, That's he right. always smell like. Last time he had some chicken, some kind of chicken. I yeah. never seen in my life some brand, but you know, you shit know on. You think of a fat motherfucker was <laughs> like doing that? They yeah. wouldn't do things <laughs> to to in public and yeah. <laughs> around around people. <laughs> Perpetuate that stereotype, you know. Like if I was a big dude, I would just, I would, I would binge eat by myself. That's like if when you no was one was looking. A big dude, June. That's if you was. And then I would cry. I'd be like, I'd eat like a whole sheet cake and cry. I'm like, oh, I'm so fat. Serious, shameless. He don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. It's he don't life. Care. Hello. He don't care. It's life. It's yeah, right. ain't no food here for you. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that's no catering. Happy. The whole room, man. But it, it was all good, man. <laughs> the whole room smelled like chicken. Bro. But I know I see her get down, man. I know I see her get down. I'm saying. So you said you went there and the whole room smelled like chicken? Yeah, man. The whole see, room. See, like when I make them chicken jokes, he tries to call me racist Maybe, yeah. and shit. White Wait a minute, excuse me? Jokes, man, what you call me? A nigga? <laughs> you know, I yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I will kill What'd you. What you say? <laughs> Ch- yeah. see, he tries he tries to be trying to change it about it's not like it was about race and not about <laughs> chicken. I mean you know? like chicken. What did you like say? chicken. <laughs> Motherfucker like chicken, they like chicken. I would yeah. kill you. That's what See, I didn't even tell him to come in and say that shit, man. I didn't even tell no, him that. Didn't. No, that's I didn't, fucked I, I, I just up. Had a, I, had a, I just had a slight fl- flashback, you know what I'm saying? Just because it was just recent, so that's fucked cool. up, man. Nah, nah, nah. I hate you. I hate you. Nigga, you like to eat? It's all good, man. man when you see you, a big man. dude, I'm out. <laughs> it's all good, man. Yo, yeah, you cool about like when I see fat people eating in public, I get mad. I'm like, what the fuck you doing? Hey, man. Come Not on, you, Sear, but just like <laughs> I, I see know. a fat motherfucker eating a turkey leg or something. Like, man, put that down. Go run or some shit. Like yeah, like eat, and I'll, I'll never catch him eating celery. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll never. <laughs> yeah, I'll never see him out there eating a celery stick. Some, no shit like some that. Green, some veggies. I had nah, some salad nah. earlier. They put some eating salad in here, right, guys? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. What kind of salad? Uh, chicken salad. Uh, uh grilled chicken. Mm. And All right, look at you, fucking story. healthy guy. That's right. Yeah, Sears yeah, turning over a new leaf since the last time you see him. He's on a diet now, Sears. so there. Yeah, I'm trying, man. Yeah. Running, you hitting that? Uh, what's that? That that? Uh, you you in that yoga? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Try to get flexible over there. Uh, liquor yogurt, but not that yogurt. <laughs> no yoga, not that no, yogurt. Oh yoga, yoga. Oh, yoga. Oh, is it yoga? Yeah, Excuse me. Fat man's mind, yeah, right. <laughs> Yo, uh, what you just <laughs> called me? Excuse me. Are you being? You called me a nigger again? I couldn't hear you. What was that? No, man. Oh, man. Fat man's <laughs> mind. All right. <laughs> Skinny crackhead mind over there. I hear you. <laughs> yeah, you're you're looking good. You're in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck you. No, I was talking to... Uh, I know, why I you know, know, I know. Shake, no, I know you're talking about my head. Yeah. I know you're talking about no, you're, I mean, you know, I'm a skinny I went, nigga. Yeah. I've already always been skinny, so shit. That's that's just that's just how it's going to be. That's man. just how I, it I, is. I can't, I can't get fat if I try, man. I eat a lot, too. Oh, we was trying on. to get Sierra to get, like, on... We was trying to get, like, encourage him to get, like, on a diet and an exercise regime and shit, but... I, I mean, Sierra, you got to do it, man. I'm going to do it. We want you to We want you to stay around for 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 a while, man. I don't really care, but, like... Oh, Jude don't care. I care. I care, I care. I don't want you to die. Don't worry about Jude. Don't worry about what I'm saying. No, I feel like, like Sears is his own man. You know what I mean? Like, we're all our own people. And if Sears wants to eat himself into diabetes, like, that's up to Sears. If I want to fucking do so many drugs that I'm retarded, that's up to Jude. It is, it is. You know what I mean? It is, it is. But, you know, every you now want- and again, you know, as a fan, as a homie, you, you want to be like, yo, you know put that chicken wing down. To me, that's always <laughs> annoying. Like, when, I would, when I'd be, like, doing that's drugs. That's why I said every now and again. Yeah. Not, that's every blue moon. You, you let, you know. Like, my sister, I'm going to tell you something. I'm real, really, though? I'm going to tell you some shit. Like, What's that? My sister, she made me do more drugs. You know what I mean? Because I'd be doing drugs in, in the living room, and she'd be like, <laughs> You do too many drugs. And it was like, I'm not going to. So I just started doing them in the bedroom. And then right. when you do them in the bedroom by yourself. It get even worse. It get yeah, even crazy. You don't have to worry about having a conversation with right. nobody. So I then it's it. like yeah, suddenly it. I'm fucking. I'm like. 
I see that. I see how that works. I, I, just, I shit on myself before I did so many drugs. So are you saying Seer goes in a room by itself and, <laughs> and just eats? Is that what you're saying? If we if, if we start talking, if, if you're on his head to, so much for him, he's to, start eating alone. yeah, he's gonna okay. start eating by himself. <laughs> All right, Not okay. that he doesn't already do that shit, but Always, I don't know. You, know. you never know. <laughs> you never know. When's okay. the last? All right. I'm not even gonna ask. Let's you. get off. Uh, we yeah, have black off milk in the studio. He has an EP. Coming yeah, black out. milk in here. Yeah, yeah. Right. black Focus. milk came in for the, <laughs> it's, it's intervention starring black milk. He came here to tell series fat. <laughs> well, who doesn't minutes. know? <laughs> radio, radio. That's why you do radio, man. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> No, no I'm, I'm not saying that's why Sid do radio. Oh, I'm just saying oh, he, can, you know, he can do what he wants to. He do radio. It's time you to in focus. rare form today, Black Milk. You yeah, are in rare maybe form. Cause I'm, maybe because I'm in Austin, man, and I'm yeah. around you. Nah, and, you know what I'm saying? Instead of, you know. What's, what's it like? What, how you how you been You been having fun out here? Shit, I got out here Tuesday. We did, uh, I did like this boat party on Tuesday night. That was kind of crazy. All these hippies, man. I was just playing beats. and Yeah? Yeah, man. It was some like... Eat instrumental two deck level. We was just on the water for like three or four hours, man. So it was kind of it was a bunch of white people, B bunch of white people in uh, no shoes, no socks. Just get out of here, man. Ooh. Just just dancing around and and being hippies, man. So here's a here's a, cool, little, here's a little here's a little here's a little secret. <laughs> What's that about white people? We love being barefoot. Man, it's clearly, fucking awesome. man. Clearly, just. Thirty feet, never. Yeah, day, we man. love that shit. We love <laughs> Why do y'all love that, man? What's, the, what's fucking what is that earth. about? Man? We're Earth people, bro. <laughs> we're fucking, we're from the Earth, man. Like, man, like, how do you walk on the boat with just trunks, man, and, and, and no shoes and socks, and stay there, and walk in the bathroom, and come right back out? Well, that's there, a, that's a little grimy. You it's, know what I'm it's, saying? It's, it's definitely grimy, but so, yeah, you know. you're stepping in piss. <laughs> Clearly, you're but. getting piss on your foot. You're getting. Piss a foot. Of, a lot of <laughs> piss foot, man, that night. But but I'm gonna tell you, here's cool. the secret. This is what you do. What's that? Don't eat with your feet and you'll be fine. It's not like I'm going to be fucking sucking any toes. Nah, man. No, you just don't want nobody else piss on nowhere on your body, though. I don't really like, care. Yeah. You don't care if it's just, that's, I mean, See, that's some white people shit. Clearly. I'm disgusting. <laughs> Yo, when I go shit, I don't even bother with the see, fucking whoa, making a nest. See, you know that little toilet paper nest? I don't know nothing about what the nest. You know when is. you lay down all the toilet paper around the toilet and then oh, you sit on so it? you just sit on that shit. Raw dog. So, so you would go to a rest stop and just sit on that joint like fuck it. This is what I do ahead of time. <laughs> I'll take you through my whole shit thing. I'll take some wet paper towel, I'll wipe it down, and then I'll sit on it. See, man. But sometimes, depending on how clean it looks, I'll yeah. fuck it. I don't care. No, it's never clean. Yeah. Guess how much AIDS I got? Guess how many AIDS I got? How many? None. I got no AIDS. <laughs> no Guess how AIDS. many hepatitis? None. Man. I'm fucking fine. I'm good. You look healthy, man. Well, yeah, I look like I'm Dude, waiting you, on a bone you, marrow you, transplant. About the healthiest, yeah, you look like healthier than ever, man, right now. You know what, what it is? What? What's that? Um, I didn't do drugs for about two months. Two months. That's a long time for me. I was doing them every day, so no drugs for two months is pretty good, Doug. Man, clearly, because, yeah, you look you look uh, on point right now, man. Well, I just started drugs again yesterday, so, so we're going to go all, all downhill. This is, you see, <laughs> you're seeing me at my apex yeah, right here. This is as good as it's going to get there, buddy. Hey, man, if you got to do it every every other month or however you do, man, I'm, that's, that's fine, Doug. You know what it was? I was doing so much ketamine that I was turning retarded. Like, I was literally, like turning retarded so how, how do you function how so you saying you, you couldn't function i was a functioning addict you know or not okay, i wouldn't okay. even call it an addict a function and abuser right. so you do so much and then you go to bed high then you wake up high see your body don't eventually just get used to the joint it's just like man this don't even affect my shit no more just don't even it kind of yeah oh i thought it was like i was like man I was really paranoid. I'm like, these motherfuckers keep cutting the ketamine. Like, I'm thinking it's stepped on, right? And then I gave some to my homeboy that didn't do any, and he fell off the porch. And wow. I was like, oh, shit. I'm just getting immune to it. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like my, my shit is just getting crazy. <laughs> yeah, but Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, do you, what drugs do you like to do? Man, I ain't know no drugs right now, Drew. Is this lady your manager or your special lady friend? Both. That is a bad idea. No, Unless no, it's Sharon idea, Osbourne. Man. That's a great idea because, look, man. Tell me. I probably wouldn't be here with y'all right now. Cause, yes, you, know, you would. I mean, you know what? I would be here with y'all. I mean, I, come on. But other people, you know what I'm saying, probably wouldn't, man, because you so know you how I am. I'm, I'm hard to get out the house. That's why y'all was the only cast that was getting interviews from me at the, at the time. Like, I just want to work. But, but yeah, she, she kind of. Did she start off? Did you start off as 
Listen. Did she start off as your manager and then you nah, grew into just, it? Just fell into that. Like, or did you guys start off ago. dating and then she yeah, was that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was. I hate you got me on. You she know, was like, fuck you hex. You don't need hex nah, ass. Like, come been. over hex, here. I got you. Hex love. Hex hex loves me, man. So and hex is still doing his thing too with me. So it's like I know I'm just I got hex. I got her and I got some. You know, my man Bill. So we. So you got three people. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Hex is still doing his thing. What's it? You can't even lie to your manager. Like, you, like you can't even get out of shit because she's she right there with you the whole time. But you know, man, I, you know how I am, man. I ain't going to do nothing I don't want to do. It's just it's that simple. But, but yeah, but I, I, I need that perspective sometimes. I'm, I never had that female perspective. We all know how Hex is hardcore with everything. Like, yep. fuck everybody. No, 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 no. Here's a story about Hex. Man, for, just many? to give you guys a little <laughs> idea of Hex yeah. murder. One time he got in an argument with a couple and he knocked out the lady <sighs> and then knocked out her man and, <laughs> on top of them and left why them asleep you, on each you, other in the hey, parking lot. I remember that. I remember that. Just Or yeah. was this another couple? Because this was inside of the club. This might have been. You this could have been. A, a, a hotel tell me room. another hex story. I mean, yeah. it's the same story, but it was inside of the club. Though. He just knocked out both the. And they fell asleep. Yeah. Went to bed. Rock a bye. Yeah, man. But you know. Sandman. You know. He slowed down. But you know, he not even hex murder no more. He, he hex mega. So. Yeah. yeah. He changed the joint. That's he what's up. Like, I'm gonna change it up, man. Still hex murder to me. Yeah, he still hex murder. You don't undo those <laughs> knockouts. You know what I mean? Like you can't, can't take can't that forget. shit away. Right, man. <laughs> too many KOs in the, all over. Not even just in Detroit. You got too many KOs all over the country, man. There it is. Yeah, South yeah. by what Southwest, we got black milk up in here yeah. doing that shit big. Let's play a song, come on back with yeah. a little bit more black milk. Let's do yeah. it. J four five, come on. Oh, she got some it's so frustrating. You, you want to turn that down, Scott? <laughs> Can you fucking hear me? Can y'all hear me when I'm talking? Uh, yeah, it's different now, man. Gotcha, dude. It's, it's, We're on. All right. Uh, Jesus Christ. Hey, can, man, shit can, happens. I know. I just want to. Just <laughs> just like, can you hear me? Can, oh, my mic is can on. You guys hear, oh, my fucking God. Can you guys hear me? Can, yeah, Scott, we can, can you hear me when here. I'm talking? Yeah. Scott. Yeah, I can hear so you. So, could you hear me? Could you? When? When? When did you start being able to hear? Oh, me? I just want to turn down the music because we're we're on air right now. All right, word. Uh, word. <laughs> uh, I like that <laughs> mom's mainly loop, man. Little oh, mom's you like that joint? Yeah, mom's mainly. Oh, you, man, I be forgetting, sir. You you be on you be on it, man. Niggas don't know. Sir got that. Uh, sir knows his records, dog. Oh, his yeah. music knowledge is, is deep, dog. It's fucking yeah. deep as yeah. the Atlantic. Last time I walked in, I think he was playing Clark Sisters, man. Yeah, world. we got we got to do some shit together, man. We got to do something together. Milk, black milk. Let's do it, man. Yeah, oh, man. yeah, you could call it Lord Milk. <laughs> no, no. Black <laughs> Sear. <laughs> black Sear. Why you yeah, call me a nigga? <laughs> what you call me? <laughs> I didn't call you that. Uh, I know. Shay 45, man. That. We're back, man. South by Southwest just tuning in. The All Out Show. Black Milk is in the building. Out in Texas. Drew yeah. Jude is live right now, man. I'm going to ask you some shit, but then I forgot because I got mad that they couldn't hear me got when I was off. talking. We yeah, it really you, fucking. We got to. Late. You can hear me late and shit. I was, <laughs> was trying to fade out that fucking song like a long time ago. Right. Yeah, that was my oh, fault because yeah. there was 30 seconds left yeah, and I still had your yeah, mic off. Fucking yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. God. Take 110% yeah. responsibility. This guy, Scott. That's our new oh, guy, dude. Scott. He's just new learning. Guy. He's a fuck up. Happens, man. Shit, it's learning. shit happens, man. Yo, so I got this little, uh, I th I've been trying to fuck a redhead. You ever yeah, you, fuck a redhead? You always fucking something, man. Well, you know, like I like. You always got a different, different chick. Cause you know, you I'm always it, like going through my. Cause man, I don't have love in my <laughs> life, so you just try to. You just need accomplishments and hey, goals. When was the last time you had a, a some some real? Uh, when was the last dude, time I had a real relationship? Real relationship. Man. My God, four years ago. That ain't that long ago. Man. That was an Obama ago. Like that was like one <laughs> that was an Obama. Obama ago. That was like a goddamn <laughs> the first, Ob a first yeah. Obama. First Obama. Okay. Yeah, okay. that was like a long ass time ago. All right, bro. I know it's been a minute, dog. Damn, I got hey, I got I got um, what is it? Were you afraid to commit? I got commitment issues. I mean, I understand that. I could I could see that, especially in your position, man. I, you know, you got to be careful. Man. It doesn't. No, it's not that. I'm just fucked up. My brain, <laughs> my brain is broken. That's not my position. I would, I would, if I was a garbage man, I would still have fucking still commitment issues. Up. Yeah, All if right, I was bro. like a security guard well, or yeah, a meter was, maid, don't even put that kind of pressure on yourself then to fucking like be in a relationship. Man. Just, no, I want a relationship, but until so then, want... I'm gonna try to fuck a redhead. You done that already, man. I probably have, but I can't you remember. Got, so done that, man. Look, this is what happened. We were talking about the what the most 
rarest type of person in the world is? Do you right. want to know what it is? What's that? An elf. But you know what the second most rarest? <laughs> what? <laughs> elves, elves don't what? exist. I was just playing. Elves don't exist. What's the second? Wait, okay. leave her out there. Goddamn, Sam. Uh, Hold up. <laughs> it's a blue-eyed redhead. And then that one right there, she just came up. You know what I'm Wait saying? a minute. Was that planned or... Hey, I told you she sent pictures, so I didn't know what she looked like. So this is gonna. So you she about to come in here right now? In a second. Oh, okay. That's what you was just talking about. The red you said talking about. Yeah, that's a yeah. Or like, woof, let's bring her in. <laughs> <laughs> bring Yo, her man, y'all don't know, man. It's a lot going on, right? There's now. a lot going. <laughs> hey, man, just, just bear with it. You ever bang a redhead? Nah. Put on your earmuffs. <laughs> Put on your air muffs, Black you know, Mills girlfriend. You know, Come on, you never fucked a redhead, man. Hi, oh, how y'all doing? No, no, I didn't even, I didn't my name, even my say name, that. My name, hi. Say. Hello. Man, if I was you, I'd, I'd have fucked every type of girl man, by now. Come on, man. Like, did what I did, but I don't remember a redhead in, 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 in That's in how I feel, I too. Can't, I can't remember. I can't recall a redhead. I was right? trying to get, like, a Mexican redhead because I like that shit. But this mm -hmm. one right here, the most rarest type of redhead is the redhead Who with blue this, eyes. Though? Who am I looking at right now? Motherfucking off the internet, man. Don't oh, you? What the... do you use the internet for? <laughs> I, I use it. Uh, like, see, that's what happens, like. I don't even be on the joint like man, that. Man, you fucking up. What? I use it for I use the internet for pussy and eBay, my dude. I mean, see there you go. Let's eBay bring her, I use the order food. Oh, you get fresh direct. That's what I use the internet for. <laughs> fresh direct. Hey, how you doing? What's up, girl? I'm doing fine. How you doing? What's going on? I'm doing good. Here, sit down right over there. I got some titties. What's your name? <laughs> I was just telling them how I wanted to have sex with a redhead and then yeah. you came in. Yeah. And I asked him, was that planned or, or was that by coincidence? That was by planned. Here, okay. flip that shit. Your shit's on the other ears <laughs> fucking up. <laughs> That's all right. Here, put the, talking to the mic. This is a date. We're on a date right now. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, it's the first joint? Yeah, Black Milk's our chaperone. Nah, I'm just, I'm just, uh, yeah. You're our chaperone. Yeah. chaperone. Nah, man, you, it's a double date. You got your special oh, lady oh, you know friend, what? too. It's you know like, what? we all. Is this, no, let me, is this a date for real? This is a date? We, this, is, this is yeah. this is our date. Oh, she We're said going on. Okay. So he said I told him he date. was my soulmate. So. Well, this is a double joint. This is a double date, just like you said. I, I was just trying to fuck, though. Yeah, me too. It's all good. Yeah, you just trying to fuck. Well, this ain't even a date then. Like, that's what's up. The date part is is totally a race now. That's why I'm her soulmate because we both just trying to fuck their black milk. Word, man. Is this awkward for you? Nah. Good. A little bit, slightly, but I'm gonna take my shirt off. We'll see how awkward it gets then. I'm feeling. I'm take on my dick. Nah, nah, yeah. Black milk, man. I took off my dick. We we might, man. Our friendship might be different after that, man. Like, it might be like, oh man. You would know. You would know too much. <laughs> yeah, you would I, just I know too much. much. I would, oh, see. Now your girl left. <laughs> I, <see. laughs> I wasn't gonna I take just, out my dick. I was just playing. <laughs> Black milk special lady French. <laughs> I just made her leave. Away, man. Is he back. serious? I just made her leave. <laughs> Sorry she about that. Dog, she cool. she cool. Sorry about that, Black Milk. Dog, what are we talking about, though? We're let's, talking, let's, all right. Let's, we're, get, let's get back sorry, folks. What we oh, so okay. I know exactly what subject. We I was going to take out my dick, and then you got all you're not, well, you're not doing out that. that you're not shit. doing that. So. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> that ain't happening. South by Southwest, we got Black Milk in the building. No, nah, no. Nah. We talking about the date, or we talking about... <laughs> Love, or uh, you trying to do this? No, nah, I just. This, what does this man mean to you right here? I don't know. He's just a jackass and has my personality. Let me so. let me take yeah. Let me, let me take your posi let me take I'm your jackass. position. Now, go ahead, man. go I'm, ahead, I'm, interviewer, I'm, I'm, I'm interviewer. interviewer. You say he's a jackass, mm -hmm. and you like that about him, mm -hmm. and y'all just you, you guys just met. This is the first time we met, right? He's here. the reason I pay for ser serious radio. He's the reason. Mm -hmm. So after he's done today with with well, this, probably with after the my radio six gig, months, free things over. I'm actually gonna get rid of it, but. You gonna get rid of what? She gonna get rid of serious once her fucking. Car, so it's on there for free right now. So you saying now that she's you have them in the you. physical, you don't need the you don't need the radio joint no more. You like? I don't know. She ever had me yet? She's talking like she's already had the dick. Like she, is, she got she got she got like that. She got to earn the dick. Right, like well, let, me, like, let me rephrase that. You act like you just gonna fucking get some penis. Right. So now All that right. you have access to, you know, my man Jude, you saying you gonna get rid of the joint and y'all just gonna like you know. Get rid of the radio series. Oh, man, I don't think that far ahead. Oh, okay. So she, like, you, what, you just, you just like, you just about today, like tonight, 
Yeah. She's okay. about living in the she's moment, man. This she's is a like free my vacation. Yeah, like. she's she's a free bird. So you from Austin? Yes. Man, yeah, come on. There. Man, oh, okay. why are you asking, bro? Come on, man. <laughs> come on with these questions, man. <laughs> it don't see not now you looking like me over there. Now you acted like is don't get upset. I don't need to know all this shit about her, man. I just wanted to fucking No, I don't care, man. I just want to all right, then what? Then because I just want to see what she looked like. Because you know how in like so internet feel, pictures. Now, now you see her in the flesh. How do you feel? Then? All right, I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Oh, it might go down. It's, it's it could go down. Okay. It could not go down. <laughs> Damn. It could not go down. It, we don't know yet. I All don't right. know. Yeah, wow. but we're gonna chop it up. See what's, what what it is. That's what's up, man. That's kind of ill that you you gotta you know you could do this on the on the on the on the, on the job like that like you could do it too black I mean, milk I, I you're a fucking rapper it, but like I'm, I'm not I'm not I don't have like no you know no big corporation over my you know my head so I could definitely do what I would want to do so it's let cool. me tell you something let me tell you something <laughs> there, black you got milk. that kind of power Jude. <laughs> look yo there's nothing more powerful than music yeah I know that because like you know you read a book you watch a movie it's not like you yelling the movie out when you're driving you know what yeah, i mean man. with music you got these motherfuckers saying your shit bro and them smoking mirrors man people fall from them smoking it, mirrors so you need to break sense. up with that chick over yeah, there man no nah, fuck her man no nah, i mean yeah, no disrespect <laughs> man no disrespect man you need to go get you some strange bro why she's not come here Jew, what, 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 what was go the first time what, what did my first pussy. album come out man oh five yeah, I've been so I've known you since like a little bit, probably before '05, almost so, ten years. So, Doug, I've been going hard to the paint for for a little while now. And now so, you just done now. So you hanging like, up? You know, yeah, I'm, I and you know, she's quite the looker. You've you oh, got man. a good one. Come on, man. Yeah. No disrespect. No disrespect. No, no, thank you, man. I appreciate You're welcome. It, man. She got a sister, a redheaded sister. I've been trying to fuck her she Mexican redhead. Sister, she right, definitely had a redhead, but. I ain't never seen a Mexican redhead though. Bruh, Cano Canelo, Canelo, the Who's dude got, got the guy whooped by uh, Mayweather. That motherfucker, a Mexican oh. ginger like a motherfucker. Like if Canelo had a sister, I would want to fuck Canelo's sister. As a matter of fact, you look like you could be Canelo's sister. Word up. You do. Do you got blue eyes? The hazel. Damn it. I was trying to get them blue eyed redheads. Those are the hardest they were ones blue to get. When I was born, but now they're too late. Yeah. If I could have <laughs> fucked you when you was born, you know what I'm saying? That would that. Oh, man. That sounded real fucked up, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, that sounded kind of crazy. Man. All right, man. Black Milk, I want to thank you for coming in. I, I, you know, we're not going to get any Yo, better than about that. The, this is about the, I think that might have been one of the best. Yeah, well, best, you're awesome. Best, best interviews uh, out of all of them. I, I felt that one, man. Do you feel like this was the best interview? I kind of enjoyed that one, man. I really enjoyed I talking to you, to flip, too. Flip it on you for a second, man. <laughs> I didn't feel comfortable with that, I got to tell you. Yeah, but you know. Tell everybody where you're gonna be performing. Man, no more white people. No more barefoot white people. Nah, it's gonna be, man. It's, it's South by Southwest. I'm, I'm gonna keep seeing white people. And, you know, all the We're whole everywhere. fest all Gotta week. Be safe. <laughs> all week, barefoot white people. But nah, I'm gonna be at uh, I got I got a showcase tonight at this spot called um Half Step. I'm gonna be rocking uh like around midnight. So about a little short performance, thirty minute set. So come out, y'all in Austin, y'all at South by Southwest. Come check me out. Half step tonight, midnight. Put me on a list. I'm gonna show up with a Dilla change my life shirt Man, and get some see, get my go. dick sucked. <laughs> oh, that's that's hard though. I'm gonna get a that's Dilla got my dick sucked shirt <laughs> and just fuck one of these little white girls. Like, yeah, bitch. Man, I got you, man. What's the five elements of hip hop? <laughs> hip B boy. <laughs> six, the six, the six element. <laughs> There's six elements. <laughs> yeah, that you right. forgot. That, that'll be you just, yeah, you yeah. just you just made the six element. That's the right six ele element. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> who? I'm about to be like, what's the six elephants of hip hop? <laughs> All right, yeah, yo, yeah. Uh, let's jump off into another Black Milk song. We got Black Milk here. Oh, matter of fact, what? let me let me let me say this right quick. That, the, the shit you playing. Um, last time I seen y'all, that I, I was dropping the album, but I just dropped the EP a couple weeks ago. Glitches in a break. So uh, the new joints you playing right now, that's off the, the new joints. It's out right now. Yeah. Out right motherfucking Digital, now. Digital, iTunes, Amazon, all that, Spotify. Check it out. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Let's go. J45, yesterday we are back. It is the All Out Show. Lord says in New York and Rude Jews at South by Southwest Live in Texas. I'm in Texas. I'm in motherfucking Texas. Everything's big in Texas. Big booties, big motherfucking booties, and big booties in Texas. Goddamn. Big booties. Me and Sam was getting tacos today, and it was like a little young fucking 
She looked like she must have been. Her ass looked like one of the brand new, just got it ass. Mm. Fresh out the box booties. Her ass looked good, though. Mm. Where's your mic at? I can't even hear you. Where, where, where that dog at? No, her ass looked good, though. Oh, dog. Yeah, I was staring at her and shit. Damn. And like, she looked like she was dressed like a... Oh, she was ready to party. Like Yeah. Her, her, her shirt was like half unzipped. Yeah, Ooh. she was ready to go. The booty was hanging out the bottom of the shorts. She was ready to do it. Damn. Me and Sam, you know, because Sam be eating the pussy and shit or yeah, whatever. You yeah. eat pussy, Sam? I eat pussy. Sam be eating the All pussy. Right. I be eating the pussy. Right. So we both right. we both over there like, I'm tapping her like, hey, look at that. She look fun. It's that <laughs> Texas ass. A little fucking brand new booty. She must have been 19. Yeah, like 19, 20. <sighs> Probably don't even know how to come yet. Let me help you. <clears throat> Let me show you the way. Let me show you. Show you the way. God damn. I will be your father figure. Put your tiny hand in mine. Put your tiny clip in my hand, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just pictured her putting her tiny clip in your hand, sir. That is funny. Ooh. Um Yeah. What we got for the That's, show, man? We got Chuck English coming by. Okay. Chuck English it was part of the cool kids and he did a bunch of beats. He's a good producer, man. And I feel uh, like he's from Mount Clemens, Michigan, okay. which is east of Detroit. East side. Yeah, I used to go to I used to go to a, a strip club out there called the Traffic Light, and it was five dollar lap dances. Five dollar. Can you imagine the type of girl that's giving a five dollar lap dance? Can you imagine <laughs> that in your brain? These bitches were busted, but I just love a deal. I can't turn down a good deal, so I go out there and fucking get my. Get my lap grinded on for five dollars. Damn, it's good if you're on a budget. You go there with yeah. twenty dollars and like you're like a fucker. You're king for the day. If I can get a little drink, or something, and fill up on some booty again. King of the Thai Castle, King of the Castle. Oh yeah, if you go there during lunchtime, they had a buffet too, bro. You can go there. Word. I knew that'd get your ears. Hey, yeah, you just buffet, say? motherfucker. What yeah. you say? <laughs> I couldn't hear you. you say buffet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, little oh. fucking taquitos and shit. Many corn dogs. You go up there and go ham, sir. Are they call that taquitos? You know them deep fried oh. tacos, and taquitos. Oh, I know that's what they call. I'm them. sure like some Mexican motherfuckers at the crib, like he's saying it wrong, but I say yeah. taquitos. Oh, uh, taquitos. Taquitos. Hello, eat my taquito. Some taquitos, please. Right. Well, what up? What's going? On? And um, and Paul. Paul Wall's supposed soon? to come by. Okay. He's either gonna come by. Or we're gonna play a pill mix. One of the two. So, like, if you hear Paul Wall, no pill mix. If you hear the pill mix, no Paul Wall. I'm rooting for Either Paul or. Wall. All right. I want Paul Wall. I like Paul Wall. He cool, man. Paul Wall is a friend of the show. He listens to us. He's cool as a motherfucking time, fan. Man. He all the time. Paul Wall, cool as hell, man. Yeah. So, I want to talk to Paul Wall. Can we get him tomorrow if we can't get him today? I, I think today was the only day. I'll double check with him. Yeah. But he, he said that he could do he could do Thursday. He could only do Thursday. Yeah, he got to speak at this Grammy event, though, tonight. That like motherfucker. Right around the corner. Man, so he's speaking of the Grammy him. event, look at him Ooh. doing good in life. That boy doing good, man. I was going to tell, tell him to get k Cheese some grills. Grilled teeth. Some, some, you know, some diamond teeth. I don't think she look right with diamond teeth. Yeah, I don't think so, sir. Come on, that be cool, man. Let me see your teeth, Sam. Nah, them brown-ass gums with some <laughs> diamond teeth and shit. <laughs> It look like <laughs> dragon fangs. Yeah. Look like a diamond mine. Just like, <laughs> like dirt and diamonds all up in your mouth. Diamonds. Nah, I think it'd be, you know, it'd be too bright. It'd be too bright for like my skin complexion. Blank, blank. Tell that to black people. What? <laughs> they much darker than your ass. Too, too, uh, too bright for your skin complexion. Yeah, but I have like I have the Asian skin complexion. <laughs> oh, come on, man. All right, get you. <laughs> Maybe like one gold tooth or some shit, like a pirate. Yeah, I might do that. Yeah, I might do that. Arr. 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 You, should, you should come too, though, dude. You should get one too. I ain't getting no shit. I need nah. to get teeth in my mouth. Like I'm missing <laughs> teeth. You you understand what I'm saying? I'm missing. I'm missing molars for me to be fucking putting diamonds on teeth that exist. You know what I mean? For real? How many teeth are you missing? Like I, right here. This is this is the result of no goddamn. Uh, Health insurance? Yeah, growing up with no health insurance. Right here? Whoa. And right here. <laughs> One on each side. How do you eat? I chew that motherfucker. <laughs> I get to chewing, get to chewing, get to chewing. <laughs> Yo, for real, when I was only missing one, like, my my left side of my jaw was mad big just from fucking uh, chewing right, on one side. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you got fucked up teeth, you ain't got no business putting diamonds in your motherfucking mouth. It's like putting rims on a hoopty. Like you need to <laughs> fix what you, you you need to fix what you gotta fix. Yeah. First. Like Sarah, you can't put no motherfucker. Don't don't I, you do I that ain't shit either. I want to do it, man. I, I tried to back in the days. I had a Mercedes tooth, front tooth. You had a Mercedes tooth? Yeah. Hell no. School shit. I stole it from my brother. He beat the shit out of me. But that's neither here if, nor there. Wait, you had a tooth and then you took it from someone else and you put the tooth in your mouth? Nah, that was my brother's gold tooth. Yeah, you stole someone else's. You was wearing a secondhand gold tooth. It's my brother's. You both got the same blood. Yeah. <laughs> you, y'all share toothbrushes too? No. Oh, that's where you draw the line? <laughs> <laughs> the hell? <laughs> <laughs> sharing teeth? Sharing fronts and shit? No, he beat the shit out of me, though. I bet you he did. Did he wear it after you? Did he take it back from you and wear that shit again? No, he had to buy a new one. Yeah, he ain't want no parts of it after you fucking was was on that shit. Hell no. Because he knows not to share fucking grills, man. <laughs> He's not supposed to. I didn't know. No, I, I was you're liquor. not. <laughs> I was liquor. You're not I supposed know. to share. All right. This is what we got tomorrow. This is what we got going on oh, we tomorrow. tomorrow. We're yeah, going to be broadcasting. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be broadcasting from G Pen's Annex on Six and Red River. Shout out to my people at G Pen. They nice. letting us do some shit from there. Nice, nice. Uh, who's who? Who are some of the guests we got coming by? Um, tomorrow, who do we have coming by? Hold on. I don't know. You're the fucking producer. I know. Oh, I know. I'm the fucking producer. You like that shit? Yeah. You like that we shit? got a problem, and I am Sue. Ah, yeah. I am Sue and Problem. Well, we got a uh, Mob Deep. Mob Deep from the East Coast. We M-O-B-B. also got a uh, Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, DJ Baby Chino. Baby Chino's coming back. Yeah. All right. Uh, we got De Niro Ferrar, who is an up and coming rapper. Okay, who's he down with? Ooh, you just time. booking motherfuckers and don't know. Take man. Your time. I, got, I got the notes on him. He's a he's a Chicago rapper. <laughs> All right, shout out to Shy Town. All right, okay. Actually, hold on. I think he's from North Carolina. <laughs> oh well, it's a big damn. difference between North Carolina and Chicago, what man. The hell? You, yeah, you, you, you put me on the spot here. And, yeah, uh, you should uh, know your fuck. Who the fuck are you right. booking? <laughs> all right, all right. And we got Trey the Why truth. Why are you making me talk to motherfuckers <laughs> if you don't know who the fuck they are? And we got Trey the Truth. Trey the Truth, cool as hell. Trey the Truth. Trey the motherfucking truth, dog. Knocking niggas out, getting shot. He doing his thing. He don't give a fuck, son. And then after uh, at uh, come around, come around around seven thirty, eight o'clock, I'll be giving out books, signing books. Okay. You didn't get it? Did you? Uh, did you buy a? Did you buy one of my books? You're in the Austin area. You want to come get it signed? I'll sign that shit for you. I'm also giving away the little heart, the Love Is Love hyena edition with the heart on the cover. Giving away some of those while I can as a little thank you from me to you. And that is tomorrow around eight o'clock at. The G Pen Annex, Six and Red River. There you go. All right, All right uh, Scott, why don't you go ahead and play a song or two, yeah, and then yeah. we're going to come back with my man, Chuck English. Chuck English. Let's do it. She performing live. In an attempt to quell racial stereotypes, the All Out Show presents Black, White, or Other on Shade 45. That's right. All right, we're going to play this little game. It's called Black, White, or Other. And it goes like this. We got five headlines from the news, okay? We're going to read you the headlines, and then you got to guess whether the person in the headlines black, white, or other based on the wacky shit that they're doing. Wacky. Other would be, I don't know, like Asian, Hispanic, Millennium. Arab. Shafanian. Uh, Elanian, Shafanian. Uh, that is some real other shit. <laughs> Motherfucking Martian. Albanian. Any of them Anians. Yeah, what the hell? Any Anian is is yeah. ease. If you Japanese, Chinese, Japanese. Vietnamese. That's all others. Alright. So uh you get three out of five right and you're gonna win yourself a G Pen and a copy of Hyena, which you can't even buy at the store anymore because I took it down because I'm about to get released by Simon and Schuster, you bitches. Hey, yeah, class. me and Stephen King. Me and Stephen King got the same motherfucking Record label. Word? Y'all got a label, son? Yeah, we on the same label. I'm on the same label with Stephen King, son. All right, so uh, call up right now, 888-742-3345, to play Black, White, or Other. Sam, why don't you go ahead and hit me with one of them test questions so we can show people how to do it. Go ahead. Don't do the first one because I, I think right. I saw that one. Right, don't look. Don't look. All right. 
All right, son. Do I, do I need to turn on your mic? No, 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 I got it. All right. All right, son. Um. So a man was arrested wearing a Cookie Monster onesie. Totally white. Doing what, though? Did it say what he was arrested doing? He was stealing from a construction site and... Mexican. Uh, <laughs> that motherfucker was Mexican. He was stealing... What? Uh, what was he stealing? Rebar pliers and hurricane fencing. He was stealing fencing and pliers? <sighs> I don't think it was a black person. Um, I literally just had to stop some Mexican dudes from stealing construction shit this morning <laughs> at my sh in my <laughs> shitty neighborhood. So that's what made me think Mexican. Um, I don't know if they like onesie uh, pajamas. That would make me think a white person would be doing that shit. Mm. Mm. I'm going to go with white. Okay, cool. All right. Hold on. Sarah? I'm going to go with other. Why? Because it's some wild Spanish motherfucker, I think, would do something crazy like that. Mm. You never know. Life in the wild. Mexico? I was thinking that, but the fucking pajamas made me made me go white on that shit. No, but I'm saying Mexican, they, they wear shorts, but they they go out. They don't give a fuck what they wear. How many Mexicans you see in pajamas? Uh, mm, what what movie I saw? Exactly, bro. Uh, not Nacho Libre. Clearly, you are. When he, um, All right. Sam, which one was it? It was white. You were right again. Come dude. on, man. I was right again. You always lose at this, Seer. I won You're one like time. What are you talking about? I won one time. Yeah, you won that one time when you picked the same shit I picked. Mm -hmm. Get the fuck out. Mm -hmm. You you the back like you eating chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, never, you never give like reasoning behind any of your answers. Yes, I do like, give oh. reasoning. What do you mean? Come I'm on. just saying. Are right, you guys want to win a, yourself a G pen and a book? Yeah, they go hand in hand. You can get high and read a book. Fucking hey, we don't give you the drugs that go in the G pen. No, don't ask, please. Don't even ask. We're not holding, bro. We're not even fucking holding. So, uh, yeah. Call up right now. We're about to play. Um, are we taking a, are we taking calls right now? Or are we gonna play a song? Uh, let's take uh, let's play a song and then take call. Take, take a call. Take a call. Wanna take a call now? Are we gonna take a call? Hey, whatever. What the hell? What the hey, hell? Let's go. Hey. Let's go to Alabama. We got Alabama Nick. What's up, Nick in Alabama? Hey, what's up, baby? Shit, chilling. What part of Alabama are you calling from? Shit, Troy, Alabama. In the Walmart parking lot, right. right, baby. Okay. Alright, he in the Walmart parking lot calling Ooh, in Troy, yeah. Alabama. Yeah. Doing that shit big. Are right, you ready to do this shit? Fuck yeah. I uh pull up that thing. My 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 shit just crashed. All right, here's your first here's your first question for uh, Bad White up. or Other. Hit me up. F for to win yourself a G pen. Do you smoke weed, sir? Yes, sir. All right, Love well, this it. is gonna get you. We're gonna get you a G pen vaporizer. You gotta get three out of five right. And uh, the hyena book. Can you read? Do you know how to read? Congratulations, All right. you do. Can't All right. Couple tries to burn down a pizza shop using moonshine. Why, dude? No. I'm going on. Pretty out. You think it's a honky because of the moonshine? Damn. Fuck he's, yeah. He said honky. God uh, damn. Yes. He's that's some that's some throwback shit. I haven't heard anybody get called a honky in years. One <laughs> no, watching the Jeffersons. I mean, I'll be Is it a white I'm guy? Fucking, you know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> is it a white guy? Yes, it is a white guy. Oh, yes, it is. I'm telling you, I'm bombing this shit, baby. I'm telling you. I, I tell my old lady, I'll be killing this shit, dude. I'll be playing this shit all the time, dude. Like, you know, right, so, myself, smoking a blunt. I, I play this shit all the time. I got to tell you something. This not that impressive that you knew a, that white people try to burn something with you. I know, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But with moonshine, yeah. I mean, how many Mexicans and niggers, you know, fucking cooking, I wow. mean, making moonshine? You know? Hey, 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 hey. Back then up, Rosewood. Hey, 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 I'll go to hell. All right, two All right. men tried to rob a, two, two men, two men, two men tried to rob a Burger King and failed to steal the buns. That's black dudes. Okay, why why you say that? Yeah, well, that's what black people do. Yeah, I mean, I watched down too many cops episodes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hell, they go. You're saying you're, you're young, you're young black cats. They're gonna be teenagers. They mis misled, they, they fucked up, and they forgot the moons. I mean, that's what I'm looking at. 
He's right. It is some black guys. Yeah, see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm banging this shit, son. I'm fucking, All right. I'm banging. All right. Uh, man takes a picture of submachine gun and poses on Facebook before his bank robbery. I got I to gotta go with the white dude. Right. It got to be a dumb ass honky. That. I mean, it got to be. <laughs> Why you think that? Oh, only the stupid ass white people put shit on Facebook. They're going to do a crime. I mean. The only white people do f Facebook selfies with machine guns before they rob a bank? Exactly. You're right again for the Jeep. And but I'm telling you, I'll be banging this shit. Bro. I'm fucking banging this shit, dude. Damn. All right. We're not I'm done yet. Uh, all right. Uh, man gets I'll a... I'll get an uh, extra door prize for hitting three in a row or what? Fucking... Nah, you don't get shit. You get a motherfucking... Uh, you get I'll a... Get a damn uh, shot out. Yeah, you can shout out some shit, but hold on. Right, oh, so here's, shout here's, out here's, my old lady, Susan Fortune, up in the car at the Walmart parking lot in Tula, Alabama. This is yeah. Nicky Joe Fortune. I always want to be on Shade 4-5. Fuck the word. You made it, bro. We're not done oh, yet. You got to answer two more questions. Yeah, come on now. Let's do it. Let's, let's go 5-5. Five, five. Hey, let's do it. No man. I don't feel right, like it. Uh, Realtor allegedly uh, caught on tape having sex in a client's house. The what now? Run that by a the real estate people. agent. A real estate agent got caught fucking in the in his client's house. He took a bitch to his client's house and fucked her. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> got you there. Damn, that's that's like another white dude. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't. <laughs> I mean, uh, any any dude would do that, but I'd say the white dude. I don't know. I don't know white. I don't know. Is it a white dude? What? Yes, it's a white guy. No Congratulations! Shit. All right, let's see if you can go five for five. Let's, let's do it. Let's hit it. If you can go five for five, we'll throw in. We'll even throw in a fuck egg that you can have sex with when your wife isn't giving you any pussy. Hell yeah! I need me a bullet dog. Hell, send me a damn shade four five bullet dog. Yeah, we ain't got no shit for like five blow up dolls, man. In the mouth, yeah. <laughs> you want to have sex with Eminem in the mouth? But I can't. Hell no, that, hell sir. no, I ain't no weird <laughs> motherfucking shit. Uh, you said it, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, five, I just repeated it to you, and then yes, all of a sudden yes, it sounds man. gay, doesn't it? Well, it sounds gay when I say it back. It was jokes when you were saying it. It was gay when I said it back. All right, here it is, last one. Right here, won't let me have shit. I ain't got no good reason around here. All right, two. All right, here's your last one, man. Right, man. Woman gets into fight with her boyfriend and bites off his ear. Other. For the fuck egg, is it other? It? Oh, go to hell. Oh, it was a white bitch? Yeah, it was a white bitch. Fuck. It was a cave bitch. It was, a, it was a white damn. cave bitch. Fuck you. Damn, I can't you hear one? You won the motherfucking won, G pen man. in the book, man. Yeah. I know y'all don't like books down in Alabama. You could, you could use it for fucking firewood or whatever the fuck y'all use. Nasty yep. white folks, I swear. Yeah, right, that was Nick in Alabama. Uh, right. He won black, white, or other. Coming up next, we got Chuck English. Let's go. All right, come on. All right, Shane 45, we are back. Hey, it man, is. Shit. The all out show. Twenty minute song and shit. God all right. damn. Whoa, we are back. We got, Once we're again. trying to we're trying to make shit work over here. We got Chuck English. What up, Chuck Yay. English? <laughs> Yo, honestly, me and we we were sitting across from one another, waiting to discuss, have a fucking interview. And uh, Freaky Tales came on, and it was like a forty five minute song, dog. Hey, he met every bitch in America. <laughs> He had to tell you about it. Every I know, and it's like, yo, all right, you got some pussy, dog. Like, congratulations, you got hey, your but dick back, wet. But back then, that shit was rare, though. To get to to be talking about getting some pussy, yeah. And my mom and dad got a rare ass story from like when I was like four or five. They was in like Memphis or some country ass state, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, like two short tape had just dropped, and they was at a gas station, and it was like a car full of. Uh, like they, they said it was in Alabama and shit. My dad said he ain't never seen no shit like this. He was like a car full of white girls walked up to him while he was pumping the gas. Like you got too short new tape, and he was like, "I'm about to buy that bitch right." <laughs> <laughs> and put it on. And him and my mom listened to it apparently, and was was like, "What the fuck is this?" And so, I, that was very extreme for 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 the tape deck. 
Oh you yeah, I mean, like if you think about it, I remember when uh Two Live Crew came out and he was talking about running trains on bitches and his dick getting stuck, and hey, I just thought it was the craziest I shit remember, ever. I remember singing Two Live Crew in the McDonald's drive thru and getting my fucking mouth slapped off because I didn't know that you couldn't say that shit. Like I, you know what I mean? What? Get on the mic closer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now I was saying I didn't know you could say that, couldn't say that shit. Yeah. My mom we was in the mic. I never forget this shit. Two Live Crew came on the uh. On the radio, I forgot what song it was. Hey, we want some pussy? Yeah, but they didn't play that on the radio. What was the other one they played? Um, Doodoo Brown. Motherfucking Doodoo, S&M. Doodoo Brown was one. This was... Yeah. You're a little You're a little bit younger than me, right? Yeah, I was born. I'm, a, I'm almost 30. You were eight, Oh, shit. All right, yeah. It was probably oh, yeah. more fucking... Uh, I don't know. I, I can't think right now because like, I'm stupid. That's like 91. Yeah, all right. So you sing along the two live crew. Your yeah. mom hears that shit. But see, they was so left and right with it. It was like so much rap I could listen to. So like MC Breeze from Flint. My dad, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever whatever MC Breeze said, I could say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then it was certain rap. If they didn't fuck with it, they wasn't letting me fuck with it. So, your so mom it, was, was, it was like a double standard. Your mom did not like Fresh Kid Ice. And nah, but she knew all the words to Mr. Dabalina about Dale the Funky. So say. you could rap you could rap motherfucking Bay Area like backpack shit, and that was cool. That was cool. Too live, you get smacked. It depended on the song. It wasn't just the it wasn't just the parental advisory. It was like like when Coochie Cutters came out. I couldn't say cooch like I said Coochie loud as fuck one day. And just did you it. did you know what Coochie was nah. when you said it? I know, right? I didn't know what Poontang was. Dog, I used to be in time. school saying douche. Like, I'd be like, douche. And I put out of class, like, fuck do his douche mean? And all the girls start, uh, and I'm like, fuck you mean? What the fuck is douche? Then they what? spelled it out for me, and I'm like, oh, it's some French ass bag for some weird ass shit. And well, like, see, I feel like douche, the noun ain't that bad, but like douche, the verb, is a little bit more offensive because then you're actually thinking about squirting some shit. <laughs> Up into a vagina <laughs> and letting it run out. Yeah, sidebar <laughs> shit that na that robs your body of its natural juices, ladies. So just try to wash it with some soap and water and eat a clean diet that won't have you fucking. Yeah. I fucked this bra the other day. I ate her pussy and it tastes like an armpit. I swear to God. Like, and I didn't know what to do, so I just. Did you check her refrigerator? Uh, what I did was I <laughs> went and got a Tic Tac and threw it in my mouth and finished the job. Hey. Just because sometimes it's Winners easier. never quit, bro. That's right, bro. Like, it was just like, it was just, it wasn't like. Armpit? That shit's so fucking yeah. convenient to smell like an armpit that's it fucked up. It, and I, I don't feel like she was like, you know, there's a difference between she like. Hot? She'd been out all day. It would taste like her bitch. Out here? It, you ate Austin pussy? No, I ain't eating no Austin pussy. This is back home pussy. This is back in LA. I was surprised. Right. I was like, hey, whoa, I shit, what is this? Austin, I thought you caught Austin street traffic. No, sir, Bob. I just got here. I haven't gotten any fucking, I haven't fucked any girls. From South Park? Nah. I'm not a rapper, Chuck English. You said it like I'm retarded. You're like, from know, South Park? You're not getting no pussy, you fucking from, punk? You're from Detroit, bro. I am from Detroit. Well, I'm from Pontiac, Michigan, sir. That's even fucking, you know what I'm saying? People don't know that's actually a little bit more cut. You white from Pontiac? That shit is a... You more white from like right from Detroit is all right. White from Pontiac is like damn. Yeah, it's like redneck <laughs> fresh. <laughs> nah, it's like they let you. Where'd you go to school? I went to school in Rochester though. Oh, okay. Yeah, you see, it's all coming together. <laughs> I was supposed to go to Northern. Pontiac. Yeah. What year? Ninety five. But I was, Shit, I was supposed been, to graduate graduate in ninety five. If yeah. you went to Pontiac Northern in ninety five, you probably would be rapping right now. I would it's I would, actually my buddies are binary star and shit. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, they are rappers. Yeah. They're fucking rappers. You're from Mount Clemens, which is the east side. Yeah. I was telling them the story about um the traffic light and I used to go there to get hey, you know dances. Crazy? I've never been to the traffic light on fucking purpose. Just You're, because I know hella people, pops er, generations of I me, mean, everybody I know in Mount Clemens been to the traffic light, but me, it's like I ain't never seen Scarface. I'm riding with that. You never seen the movie Scarface? I'm riding with that. I'm the rap. I'm the first rap nigga to never seen Scarface, and I might not. I it's, know the story. It's like, like you I'm going about to watch waste three hours to hear this shit, see some shit I didn't heard forty billion times. So I'm gonna be that nigga that never seen Scarface. I'm gonna ride out with that. Chuck English is probably worth it too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's probably worth it to be that dude to yeah. be like, yo, uh, you know. What? What's that? Where's that? Where's the girl? Did you Somebody hear the girl voice? Yeah. The... Damn, nobody. Oh, now they're going to act like it didn't happen. <laughs> I didn't hear that? 
I heard it. That, that was that was. I didn't hear what the hell going on with y'all. I, I I don't know what you guys are doing over there, but God you know. damn, dog. It's a fucking shit show in New York right now, Chuck. Oh, oh, what the fuck are y'all talking about, man? Go ahead. <laughs> oh, that's where that came from. Who you was thought that? it was a girl? That not a seer. Mm. Oh, there so, was a no, no. There was oh. a girl voice. Uh. Well, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> we're oh. gonna go. We're gonna play some music, and we're gonna get to the bottom of that shit, Chuck. And he goes, "Cause motherfuckers out here lying on the lying on the radio." Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, Chuck, Chuck, what's up? We wanna get in there, joints? Got music? Yeah, yeah. I got that. Uh, that easily. Yeah. Uh, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, man. Like all of, all of my favorite Boldy James shit. It, he's a Detroit rapper that I've been been a fan of for some years. All of my favorite shit that he's done, you've done it. You've done the beats. That's, that's my first cousin. It's one of my favorite people. We 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 kind of grew up and had the same dreams and a little bit older and life was different. But his mom and his stepmom and my mom and sisters. And a lot of the shit I I I kind of picked up on, or and he sure is like street smart shit, or you know what I mean, just knowing stuff was being by him. And the nigga didn't used to let me go places with him when I was little. That shit made me fresher because I was like, you ain't gonna just keep on keeping me at the fucking crib, bro. Like, yeah, I'm 12, but I'm the coolest nigga you ever seen in this bitch. And then he just started <laughs> taking me with him. You know what I'm saying? So what would he take you with some of the shit that you would see with him when he took you around? Uh. We had a lot of, it was like, see, when I was little, the hood was fun. You know what I mean? Shit happened, but it didn't really be, look like you wasn't supposed to be there until I moved to Mount Clemens. You know what I'm saying? Like, I lived at Cadu and Harper growing up. Okay, so he was They lived side. over off Schoolcraft in Southfield. So none of the shit that I seen was out of the normal. Like, What is some of the shit you saw? I seen, I, mean, I seen, I didn't see drugs. I'm going to keep it 110. Like, like. Where we was growing up, if your parents was, you know what I'm saying, they kept that shit away as kids. Pistols, everybody was obsessed with guns when I was little. If you was a kid in Detroit, if you had, you, you know, if it wasn't a real one, yeah. it was a cat or it was a BB or it was a squirt. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even about the violence. It was just super suckers was out there selling propaganda. Like, you know what I mean? Everybody, everybody else a pistol. wanted a, Everybody wanted a pistol or a battery powered air squirt, some shit like that. So the first time you seen one, you damn near thought that bitch was a toy. That's why why like, kids be blowing their fucking head off, but that was about the only thing. And and then you seen when we was growing up, we had a, a period of time where it was like we was kids, and then he became, a, you know, what I'm saying, a young man. So yeah. shit was happening, and I would hear stories. So like, you know, Air Force Ones come out with these new sneakers. He'd get them. Next thing you know, it'd be like, oh, you know, I don't know if you want to get them. Like the niggas is robbing niggas for these or. Uh, I remember at Northland Mall when them Jordan, the black and red Jordans came out for the first time, everybody got robbed for that shit. So it's like, <laughs> except, and then it was just a year that didn't nobody touch his shit no more. And that he was went that. to Cooley High and it was just like, oh, that's your cousin? Oh, yeah, you good. So you start noticing like, damn, what the fuck? What the fuck is Baldy up to? What's Baldy doing? <laughs> yeah. What's Baldy doing to keep me from getting robbed? Yeah, but the, I mean, that's one of the best things to see my cousin come through and knowing all the shit that he been through and what we did and all the shit that we even came up with from being kids and actually seeing him see his goal through and not really and didn't rely on me. It's a lot of people don't even know that we cousins or that I have, I'm instrumental in making sure that everything that go right with him is going right. You know what I'm saying? Like anything I can do, but I ain't never want nobody to look like he piggy, he too cold. He didn't piggyback off me. I just was like, this nigga has to win. Like he has to. And he's about to. Let's play one of your songs, man. We got Chuck English here, man. Yeah. Let's go. No, you are just a walking faux pas with the radio hey, shit. Well, let's check it out. Break it down. I know what it sounds like when you peek in your headphones, so that was why the microphone was moving away. You but was now, like, yeah, like you. Now like, I'm gonna just keep it right here. I, if I know how to adjust shit, did, are you still peeking? I'm nah, trying. I sound, I sound. Yeah, there we go. That better. Your, your headphones was just high because we couldn't get them bitches to work. Okay. And then, you know, like, when you try to get some shit to work, you just yeah, overdo it. Yeah, I ain't no whack-ass radio uh, tech, 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 you know, technician. Tech I usually know what I'm doing wrong. Like, I even use the mute button right. You know what I'm saying? I usually know what the fuck is going on. But today, you just came in. Not it sounded like I was Mike Darth Chugum. Vader in my headphones, so I was like, oh, shit, let me back up. Now, you sound good over here, man. Let's go. Gums out, bro. I you know what I'm saying? Let's Dude, you, th piece, you think that they would, like, you know, you think that they would fucking... 
test this studio. They know that we're broadcasting from here. Live. It wasn't even ready, dog. We was over here running around trying to get this shit ready. Like, literally got it fixed five minutes before we got on, on the air. Hey, man, it's DIY as fuck out here, bro. It is dire. <laughs> <laughs> it's DIY in this bitch. We got Chuck English, 888 3345 888 Talking to Chuck English, you was talking about, uh, I was telling you off the air, I was like, the first time I really went out to Mount Clemens was when uh, Ain't No Future in Your Front came out. I went to some little carnival or fair type shit. Was it Farm City? Was it in the middle of downtown? It could have been. It could have yeah. been. I, I don't know where it was. I just know I was wearing Georgetown and looking fresh. That's all and I know. And what year? 91? Yeah, whenever that shit came out. 91, 92, wasn't it? It was 91. Yeah. That was that shit. Uh, yeah. It was, uh, everybody was driving around with like, uh, they had the they had the the neon shit up underneath their cars. Yeah. Geo Tracker, Suzuki Sidekicks. Yep. Or Troopers or whatever fucks. Yep. That was awesome. GMC Jimmies. Yeah, them Jimmies were the shit. Blazers. They, yeah. they, yo, they need to bring back them Jimmies. Yeah, I, I actually, uh. If I had my wish, they would bring back the Typhoon real quick for the 2015. You think so? I would buy it. You should get an old one. Yo, bring back the Typhoon. What are you driving right now, Chuck English? I'm shit, Uber. You you just take Uber? I'm saving money, bro. Really? Not saving money, though, but honestly, when you think about it, L.A. is taxing you so hard unfairly for driving restrictions. It's like $75 for a fucking parking ticket for like... 30 seconds over, $75. That's a whole quarter of weed somewhere. Like, that's a, you could take a grill out to eat, get three drinks, and still not be at 75 for a parking ticket. This is true. So, I'd rather buy the tree and go eat and take an Uber for 20 bucks. So, that's how you, that's how you, that's how I'm doing it for now. But I, and where I'm at and where I'm staying, if you don't have a garage, fuck that. Cause, I'm not about to go out and move my car every fucking street cleaning day. I feel you. I've been booted. You know what I mean? I didn't got it out of towing. That shit's so annoying that being drop, on, dropping the 30 to 40 for a cross town trip in LA and getting out and not having to park and having the same person pick you up, you could be wasted. It's you could be drunk as fuck, it. right? Whatever. Now you, they I, got the auxiliary court sitting in the back seat, get a chew, stick of gum. It's like. And they give you free water in Uber a lot of Hell times. Yeah, they which, put it on whatever station you want to, and you can get in that bitch and put a CD in if you want to. It's really your car with somebody else driving it. The only shit I, the one thing I like about Uber that the other taxis don't offer, or that is, uh, the problem with the taxis out there in Cali is the Armenians smell like cologne. So like how you about, jump into how a about headache. you can't even go from Silver Lake to Hollywood for less than twenty bucks in a regular cab. So Uber, you just doing it big. Oh, yeah. You should be Uber sp spokesperson. They should throw me a like whole bunch sold. of credits right now. Tell them. Let's Uber tell credit for Uber. Chuck English. I'm on, I'm on serious shade forty five right now. I just shot a job hella. Repping. I'm dropping at least a thousand every two months on rides. Give me some. Give me some promotional codes. Send them up. Call them up to. Shay 45 yeah. or whatever. Uber. Yeah, if they let you know, you hit me, tell them. We I don't got think some, it's we'll share them. I don't think. You know what the problem is? I'm optimistic, Jude. Here's the deal. It's like, um, this is kind of like a chick that gave out the pussy and is trying to ask for some shit on the back end. We already <laughs> plugged Uber. Like, they don't give a fuck. Like, we already plugged them. <laughs> we're trying to get, we're like, we They give out promotional codes. Yeah. You know, you type it in, in, in the app and you get about two, three, four free rides. Hey, that shit come in handy. That's, you, you Not know, to say I don't want to drive. Being from the, you know Michigan, that shit right. is a rite of passage. We didn't take driver's training at 14 and Michigan lefts and yep. dream cruises and shit. And to be in California, you want to you want to swag out. But not when you're trying to save money, putting out a record, being financially responsible and shit. Not right now. I like that you're saving money by taking cabs just because you know that you're gonna get parking tickets yeah like you can just not get parking tickets. 75 you can you can fuck around and hit the 70 get caught get caught with the 75 dollar ticket three times in a week and not really do anything ignorant you know what i mean like be at a time where it's like well no parking from 6 p.m to 8 p.m you don't like you reading the signs that's what it is nah Yo, my, my main shit like i really i always say this i would rather have my daughter grow up to be like I don't know, like a drug dealer than a fucking... Parking? Yeah, a meter yeah. maid. I hate those motherfuckers. Hey. They're like snitches. They're I'm going to tell you, it's some... All they are is snitches. It's some, yeah, it's some off... It's some in L.A. that's really going ho on that shit. They think it's a TV show coming out and they about to be on it. They really be going hard with their job. 
Like, all right, I've definitely, I didn't even happen to me. I'm sitting there having a tea, you know, sitting outside enjoying the sun. This lady parks her shit, runs back in because she thinks she leaves her wallet. Mm. Comes back out, the lady's writing a ticket. She's like, man, I just left my wallet. The lady's like, I don't give a fuck. They don't care. I'm like, damn. Yo, I had some dude that was an ex-Marine, man. Can you imagine, like, you in the <laughs> shit? You like, this motherfucker was in Nam, right? <laughs> Like, he got Semper Fi or, or Temper, whatever the fuck, he got Semper Fi on his arm and shit. And I'm like, now nah, you just a fucking meter maid. Like, <laughs> probably That's hold your wife so hard and on you. shit. I know, right? Like, you fucking, how'd you go from fucking being a I badass to a fucking bitch maid? And now, yeah. I'm writing, now I'm writing stubs. Fuck it. I'll be That's why I like Michigan, man. Parking, I ain't never seen too much parking restrictions at the crib. Man, Michigan, though, you can get away with anything. Like In the whip? Yeah. Yep. Especially in Detroit. Like, it's really no it's, shit. Shit. I don't even know the, the general consistency on riding around is. <laughs> I don't know if they even pull you over in Michigan. It's real shit. Unless you cross when you pass ninety four going towards the airport. Once yep. you cross Wayne State, that's when you open to get pulled over. Past that, you goody mob. Yeah. You goody mob. All right, Chuck English. Let's uh let's play another one of your tunes. What, what's this next one we're gonna play? I did a song with Chromio. Um, the funk band from Montreal. All right. Tried to make some shit that, that lasted the test of time. This is the other side of the, doing a solo record that, you know, I got a lot of influences and a lot of funk in, and di not even disco, like funk R&B came from the Midwest, from Dayton, from Detroit, from Ohio, uh, from Chicago, and I just tried to throw back to that a little bit. All right, let's get it, man. This, this is for the dance floors. Chuck English. J45, we are back. It is the all-out show. Chuck English, I want to thank you for coming by here and just fucking chopping it up with us. It's good to see a Michigan dude doing his thing and fucking hey, making man. quality things. I'm glad to be on here, man. I've been checking you out since I was trying to tell you. I've been checking you out since the Jenny Jones show. Bam. I used to go up there saying the most outrageous shit to be just on stage. I used to be like, who is this? And then when I heard you was from Detroit, I got extra proud. You was like, yeah. Yeah. That was some good. That was some good years. Uh, doing doing Jenny Jones. Where's she at, and bro? She's she's living in uh L. A. And she, she's a drummer. Right? Yeah, she can play drums. She she's right now. I think she's doing like vegetarian cooking. That's hard. She, yeah, she's way into vegetarian cooking. Hey, uh, I remember when she when y'all when when that case happened from uh when the gay dude got shot. Yeah. When the one gay guy got his <laughs> dick sucked by the other gay guy, and then he fucking got pissed that he thought that the dude. Yeah. yeah. Then he got he got mad and fucking shot my man in the face. Yeah, that happened out in Lake Orion, Michigan. That's that's like redneck central out there. Oh yeah, that shit can happen. Oh no, uh, yeah, doing a Jenny Jones man. Like I could, dude. It was getting so because there's nobody from Detroit or Michigan doing anything on television at was, that time. Hell yeah, no. I, I was still living out there. It got so crazy that I was just like. Like, just fucking chicks was too easy. So I was like, let me see if I can turn this one into a busto. So I was just trying to turn chicks into bustos, man. <laughs> Tell them what bustos is because they don't know. That's Michigan shit. That's where you just run a train on the broad. Basically, you take turns. You talk. There used to be up. a song about it. Let's run bustos. bustos. With me you and all your friends. I know you like about to me. So, so act I like it then. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. They don't know, bro. Tell them about it. Yeah. Tell them about it. Hey, where can where can uh where can they find your uh your Twitter and all that shit, man? Twitter, um, or wherever. I go by the name of Chuck is dope on Twitter. My Instagram is old English. It's not really like fly rap uh controversial shit on my Instagram. It's like, you know, my mama on Christmas. I keep it real picture. I I keep it like uh Flickr. Remember yeah. when Flickr like I. I'm real social media. My social media is real, you know, A+. Plus. So you slipping. So you got, like, people looking at... I always feel weird about that, because especially the type of humor I do, people got jokes and shit. Right. So, like, I put up my mom, and I'm like, these motherfuckers better not. Like, we not going to... Like, I'm not going to... We not yeah, going to be friends. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We not going to be friends. You talk about my daughter hey, or my mom. Like, this they shit know ain't funny. Up. They know you. They know that's nonstop if you get on the head. So I'm not. But that's the, that's the thing. Like I'm not even gonna battle you if you talk <laughs> shit about my mom. I'm just erasing you, bro. Like you don't <laughs> exist no more. Yeah. Fuck that. That's that Michigan, bro. You ain't that worried about you. Don't, you don't. I guess that's what that's that that's kind of big to be opening up all your personal hey, life I've to noticed everybody. About it, the difference between Michigan uh, road rage and California road rage. Remember road rage in Michigan? You used to hear about somebody beeping a horn and the next thing somebody just getting smoked. Yeah. See, they just cuss you out. I heard somebody call somebody a fuckhole before I came here. Beep, beep, fuckhole. Oh, that's, that's road rage in California. 
or you might get pulled out your car and get your ass whooped. But when I was younger, I first got my license, I used to be scared, like, damn, maybe I shouldn't beat my horn at this motherfucker. He might be strapped and shoot out my goddamn windshield. That's an actual concern. That's coming up where we came from. It's like, funny. It's funny. I was like, I I was driving like you know, L.A. You drive a little bit more aggressive out there. There's more people, so I was driving like I was in L.A. in Michigan. And just cut in, and this dude followed me for fucking five oh, miles yeah, upset. And I was like, hey, man, my bad. I was just visiting. <laughs> He's like, fuck you. I'm going to wake up in a fucking body bag, bro. You're going to fucking die. I was like, all right, man. Like, Yeah, that's Michigan. Yeah, it was. We got an upper peninsula. You know anybody from up there? I I used to go up to the upper peninsula. Tell them about it. It's like straight up rednecks up there. It's they got their own currency, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I've ever heard of the Michigan militia. We're the livest state in the fucking country, bro. Not live because we're big. Not live because it's like the most original. It's just you ain't gonna never see no shit like that. It's <laughs> crazy up there. It was a one it, the, where my mom lived. It was a one traffic light town. And whenever a train ran, drove by, or I don't know what trains do. They don't drive. Whenever a train passed. You get half off at the bar, and everybody will roll up to the bar and just get fucked up. Michigan militia, bro. There it is. <laughs> Chuck English, yeah. Michigan militia. Check them out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this shit. I ain't thinking about my flame. My flame. And that's real. Mm. Yo. What's going on, man? Ice, they almost tried to... They trying to put me out the motherfucking hotel just now, dog. Say what? Yeah, man. I was over there. You know, we playing some music. I got, you know, I got to go use the bathroom. And we, we broadcast from uh, the W. So I leave out the studio. I start walking to walking towards the bathroom. And these ladies are walking by. And, you know, I'm just being polite. I'm like, hey, how you doing? Like, I speak and shit. And the lady's like, uh, can I help you? And I thought she was, like, being, like, helpful. And I was like, yeah, well, I'm, no, I'm just, you know, we just heading over to the bathroom. And then this bitch breaks bad on me like, uh, she was like, well, you got credentials? And I'm like, do you got credentials? Like, who the fuck are you talking to me like that? Do I got credentials, bitch? Do you got credentials? Asking for credentials. Like, what are you, undercover? You fucking, you the goddamn damn, hotel captain, bitch? Like, so then... And I'm like, nah, got credentials. I'm like, Where's your credentials? You show me your shit. And she's like, sir, I'm going to call security if you don't give me credentials. I'm like, man, you call whoever you need to fucking call. Mm -hmm. And then I like try to walk by all smooth. And then, the, my, you know, my ass, like, because I can't ever do nothing cool. I can't find the fucking bathroom. So, like, I'm literally walking up and down the hallway <laughs> oh, while she's behind me trying to, like, talk shit. I'm like, I don't even know where the fucking bathroom is. The other lady that was with her helped me find the bathroom because I'm a fucking idiot. I walk up in that bitch. I'm pissing. I turn around. They have five security guards just waiting on me. Waiting on me. They're like, sir. I'm like, man, I'm, I work here, man. Tell your girl to chill the fuck out. I gave him my little pass. Sir, I'm sorry, sir. They're real polite out here in Texas. But, man, fuck. No, you give a bitch a goddamn ounce of power. <laughs> and she just want to flex on somebody. Can I see your credentials, please? Can I see your credentials? Like, bitch, you just look like a fucking librarian to me. Like, I can't tell. Let, let me see your fucking credentials before you start asking for some shit. How do I know that you not, like, you you supposed to be here? How do I know you supposed to be here for you to be talking to me like that? But we all good. They ain't even gonna give me an honorary badge and shit. I was like, I'm good. You can keep your little honorary badge. I'm not coming back to this fucking place. I don't need y'all. Oh, fuck. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Need you back? You took a piss game back. Ain't we paying them rent? Aren't we paying these motherfuckers rent here? I thought, yeah, we was paying y'all motherfuckers rent. Like, fuck you, man. Let me see your credentials, bitch. Let me get some room service. Fucking cunt. You're trying to kick me out, dog. Fucking got slut me buckets. fucked up. Slut you fucking buckets. slut bucket, you cum dumpster. You got me fucked up. Hey, I just looking like a soccer mom. Dude. I, I can see the, your future, bitch. You're going to be fat and ugly. I want to see credentials, please. Let me see your credentials, bitch. Look at my dick. <laughs> and the worst part was I knew that a, a bunch of dudes was looking at me while I was trying to pee. So then, like I got pee <laughs> shy. So that, we were sitting there forever waiting for me to pee. They're like, just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Let him pee. Just let him pee. <laughs> <laughs> let him piss, please. I'm not pissed.
Let me want to shake my hand. I said, hold on, let me wash my hand first so you don't got to touch dick hand. Nah, fuck that. Because like, hey, I'm a gentleman. Through all that shit, I'm still a gentleman. I'm never going to stay at the W here unless I get a discount rate. And that's the only way I'm going to stay. I'm going back to the, where are we at? The Ramada? Ramada. I'm going back to the Radisson where it yeah. smells like a fucking armpit in my room. They don't treat you like this. This bitch. Ugh. All right, whatever. Um, we, what we got next? We done, right? We done. All right, tomorrow we're going to be broadcasting from the G-Pen Annex on okay. 6 and Red River. Okay. And then after the show, I'll be giving out books and signing them if you bought them, too. If you got your own book that you already bought and you want me to sign it, I'll be happy to sign that copy of Hyena. You can't even buy it no more because I got picked up by Simon & Schuster. whoop the fucking do And that's some real good shit. Shout out to Simon & Schuster for sh signing me. Me and Stephen King on the same label, dog. You know what I'm saying? We on the same motherfucking label. Um, that's at 8 o'clock tomorrow in Austin, Texas. Are you around Austin? Are you in Austin? Come holler at the kid. Yeah. Come holler at the kid. Go see the G-Pen shit. They're doing big things over there. Huh? I'm going to be giving out books. Huh? 8 o'clock. You might want to get there early because I don't know how many books I got. I already gave out a couple today. So there it is. Oh, shit, oh, shit son. Oh, damn. Let me up? see your credentials. I think I can you pay me, please? <laughs> Fucking credentials. Fucking mall cop ass motherfucker. She wasn't even security. I thought they was just being helpful. She wasn't being helpful. She was trying to flex on me. Like, what, are right. doing, what are you well, doing? Oh, Let me see your credentials. <laughs> Fuck my dick. Motherfucker. What's up, man? We we out of here, man. Um, we that, done, man. Uh, we yeah. got your boy's tag selectors up next. Sammy Needles just walked in. He just filmed the Raka. He filmed Milk Part 2. Raka. Right now. So he's here. He's chilling. About to set up right now. And we're about here, man. It's the All Out Show. Catch y'all tomorrow. South by Southwest. All right? One.